right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakadash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. And, um, you know, uh, and I'll say this day, the brother had a situation occur right before camp started. And uh, hey, through the spirit, hey, you know, as the scriptures say, if a brother can get it real quick, in Ephesians 5 and 15, it says that we got to walk circumspe uh, circumspectly because the days are evil, you know. All right, you know, hey, these people are on edge. Hey, the scriptures say what? They're lovers of their own selves, right? God, God. With that being said, hey, these people got their nose up in the air. They're proud. They, they can't deal with accountability. All right, so you're dealing with some uh, real beast, okay? Beast-like people out here. They're very, very low, you know? Their, their vibration it, it isn't there. Okay? This is Ephesians 5 and 15. It says, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Exactly, evil, all right? And you got to remember, it's not only just the men, but the women too, okay? All right? You got to be uh, real mindful of these people. Because, hey, the, um, it's crazy. There was this one girl, mind you, she's 15. She was going up uh, up and down the red line. I'm saying all the way up north, like Thorndale. All right, all the way down to like 95th, basically, robbing people. Beautiful. Okay? Excellent. You know? Hey, so, it, it, yeah, um, it was a report, and the statistics say, and somebody, I don't know if it was Dr. Umar or one of them motherfuckers, but they had, they were talking about how they, they had did a poll of all the, the, the men in, the, in prison, and I think over 90% were in prison because of the woman. Yep, so something sorry. to do with the woman. Either the woman got them locked up or they was defending the woman or something mm -hmm. to do with a female. Over 90%. I believe they said it was like down there all of them, but I I, 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 I shy away from 100% because you never know. Yeah, it was at least a good 90 though. And, but they don't know. They said over 90%. You know what I'm saying? You know? Let me see if I can find the article if I, just to bring that out. But a lot of men sleep on these females. The Lord said from the from the woman comes the beginning of sin. Um, through her we all die. You just took the words out of my mouth. All right, hey, hey, through her we all die. Right. Okay, because, hey. Uh, um, and that scripture, you don't believe me. Uh, you don't believe what we saying. You don't believe the scriptures. You know I mean, that, that, and you're a woman. You're proving our fucking point. The scriptures say what? That uh, uh, the, the um, wickedness is, you know, little to a woman. I forgot exactly how it's worded. In Sirach, I think it's actually in the same chapter. I think it's the 25th chapter. Sirach 25. Mm. That's a whole like basically chapter, you know, rebuking and cutting these women. Okay, the point being though is, it, it, it's not surprising, you know, but they're the ones who never actually, you know, uh, go to jail like that. They're never the ones who are dying, you know, getting injured. It's always the man. So point being though is, you know, hey, hey stay away from these females, especially the black woman, man. Hey, the, like I said, the brother got into a situation as he's pulling up the camp, man. What happened? All right. Hey, this female, long story short, the, 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 the brother say, hey, just said, you know, you know, hey, what's up to a female? And um, she, you know, she ignored him, you know, got her nose up in the air, right? And uh, then, then, then her son passes by. Mind you, this kid's three, because I actually saw the, the, these two hey before they bumped into the brother oh, all right so and then and there was a huge distance between them and then the brother said hey you know hey, watch out for your child you know hey you might get you know basically hit by a car then she starts talking shit and then, then basically uh, uh 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 what did she do she she pulled your antenna and what else she, she bent my antenna and spit all uh, yeah, twice on my car yeah, you know? I, I, that bitch would have been in jail you know I, I, I would have had that bitch locked up. Hey, see, it was too something. shocking at all at once hey, speaking and, and to her. Because that's not enough. That's, that's, that's not enough spirit. I'm, I'm ready to get to work here. Right, and and, 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 you, been, and you was being kind. You was trying to come to camp. But I'm telling right now, I would have been like, just lock it. I'm 25 minutes later. I had to go ahead and lock this bitch up. Yeah. And, and get her. Because these bitches don't give a fuck about us. I'm tired of saying, matter of fact, oh, right now, we're done being kind to everybody. Man. We're kind, we're done, done being kind to niggas. We're done being kind to women, nigger women. We've done 
being kind to the heathens. We're done being kind to everything down here that's contrary to the Heavenly Father. Fuck you. May the Most High destroy you. Elder, I'm in the spirit of rebuke, man. That's it. This is the third week where I'm mean, like heavy in that spirit. Because like, that's the spirit because of the Lord. Because the, the Lord's about to destroy you. And, and, and our people man, in particular are very wicked, man. And they got to get judged. They, they, these women, they, they think they could just do all this shit and get away with it. No, hey, the Lord, hey, look. Even if Esau doesn't hold you accountable, all right, for your actions, Yahweh me how Shai does. Hey, and that's why a lot of you women have been getting fucking snatched, raped, all right, and getting put to fucking death, man. That's right. You deserve it, man. All right? Because, hey, you women are, are not innocent. And we just mentioned it. Yeah, you women get men killed left and right. You're, you're hopping, you know, from dick to dick, okay? You're raising up little fucking monsters. Fuck you, man. That's why the Lord's going to wipe you all out. That's why it, it's so beautiful that this whole situation is happening, all right, with this election. It don't matter if Trump's going to get in office or Kamala Harris. Hey, you niggas are going to fucking die, man. That's right. The Lord ain't fucking playing with you anymore, man. Nigger. All right? Yeah, I said it. The Lord's going to kill you niggers, man. And you spicks, man. That's it. All right? Hey, you think that fucking black bitch, and she ain't even fucking black, mind you, okay, is going to save you? Lord's gonna, gonna use that bitch to fucking kill you, man. All right? She's gonna call in the troops, and guess what, man? Lockdown, man. Fucking lockdown. Every servant in her house. Hey, hey, you th hey, 2020 was just a little test run. They were giving you an option, all right, to go into your houses. You know? When they said, oh, oh it's curfew at 10 o'clock. Hey, it was an option. People were still doing their thing, driving, grabbing food. You know, hey, you had some clubs open and shit in secret. You know what I'm saying? But when this shit goes down, the, 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 the second round, Esau ain't playing with you motherfuckers, man. I'm tired of you motherfuckers, man. You're wicked. You need to fucking die. Hey, you see, you know, and that, you know, this is funny. I'm listening to you while I'm looking up them stats and fuck them stats. I'm listening and I'm seeing people head turn as if we're saying something, you know, crazy or something. And the, 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 the funny part is, if you're not calling on the Heavenly Father, if you're not calling on His true name, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash, and know that we're the Hebrew Israelites and so forth, everything that you speak out of your mouth is contrary to the Heavenly Father. And over, uh, the Lord says here in Babylon the Great, two thirds of His own is going to have to be destroyed. All right? Two thirds of His own children, He's going to destroy because of their wickedness. How much more the heathens? How much more uh, uh, the, the fucking Chinese, Japanese, the so-called white men? What the fuck are you all doing for the Lord? You know what you all done to the Lord? You have stolen his sons. You stole, like, like Hitler said, you stolen the jewels of the Lord, man. Yeah. The Most High is pissed off with all you goddamn nations. That's right. He said the only reason why he's not jacking you all up to the full is to your iniquity gets to a certain point. That's it. But guess what? It's there. I got a, all right. I got a preset for you, Elder. Probably this is, shot, uh, this and is we like it being shocking, because guess what? What you're getting is pacified on the goddamn news. That's you're pacified right. on ch Channel 5 and Channel 32 and Channel 50. They're going to tell you all those sweet lies. Huh. All right? We're going to tell you the unadulterated truth. 100% truth. Raw. Raw. No Vaseline. Woo. <laughs> all right? That's <laughs> mine. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah. this is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1. And, um... And 15, oh, for the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. Uh, upon who? All the heathen. Some of the heathen. All the heathen. I mean, come on, the white man, he cool. <laughs> all the heathen. The Chinese, they all right. All the heathen. The East Indians, man, that's how we get our coffee. All the heathen. Man, all you motherfuckers, man. Right. And that goes to you two-third niggas too, man, because we look at you as heathen. The Lord said, yeah. let them be counted as a heathen, man, all right? Right. If you reject, if you reject this truth, the most I reject you. That's right. And it says, as thou hast done... It shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. All right? And you see, hey, all the things that you have uh, 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 have sown, you're going to reap. You're going to have to deal with the consequences, man, of your actions. And fucking good, man. Hey, this, in particular, you fucking blacks, man. And you fucking Puerto Ricans and Mexicans. You got to fucking die, man. All right? You all got to die. Yeah, you Venezuelans too, man. All right? You're all fucking getting cursed out. Fuck y'all, man. I'm glad you Venezuelans are fucked up, man. I'm glad you fucking niggas are fucked up. I'm That's glad right. you fucking tomahawks on the reservation are fucked up. That's right. Because you're wicked. That's 
That's right. You got some, Mark? <laughs> I'm telling you. Hey, man, I told you, hey, week three, bro, of cursing you motherfuckers out, bro. That's right. It's not going to stop, man. Uh-uh, uh-uh. This Isaiah. <laughs> <laughs> take that. <laughs> yeah. They're going to have to take that, man. Look. Oh, it's Isaiah one and three. The ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. Ah, Salakia, a simple nation. Salakia, it said... Our people don't know who they are, nor do they even consider. You got the men of the Lord out here telling you that you're all Israelites. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right? Hey, hey you're, you're the true people of the Bible. And this is what we see week in, week out, day in, day out. All Weaves right? Weaves twerking, weeds smoking, ignoring the prophets, men understanding and not set by. Hey, Nigger, hey. Niggers walking by like they know everything. Niggers gonna learn the hard way, man. And it's coming. That's the thing, like, it, it, it's coming. We're at the uh, end of a society. You can see it. This is the end of the, uh, the American Empire. Right. And really, to be uh, 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 quite frank, it's not. Designer uh, I got a yeah, designer, man. My glasses <laughs> cost more than your fucking outfit. Bring the point out. being, though, is fucking. Um, hey, we're at the end of a kingdom, man. You can you can see it. And, and it's not just the American Empire. It's really the uh, the Edomite Empire, which is the so-called white man's a uh, uh, whole structure. Hey, the, the EU's through. All right, NATO's through. America's through, Israel's through, it's done. I mean, look at the money. That's right. I, I mean, just five, six, some years ago, uh, John Boner, all right, he called it Boehner, which is really Boner, all right, he said, America's broke. We're broke. America's broke. All the time, I've let people know, I've seen blah, 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 blah. America been broke. Somebody on one of your fancy phones, Baba Kusha, go tell me how many trillion dollars America in debt. I got you right here. Oh, here. boy. No, uh, but 17, but it's shit. It's back in the 1980s, but when you was around, back when you first came around, I, <laughs> shit, we, we haven't seen 17 trillion in see. some, in oh, some, shit. some the decades. The national debt clock says that the U.S. national debt as a whole is 34 trillion. 34 trillion dollars. Actually, it's 30. It's, it's pretty much 35 trillion because it's, it's the biggest debt owed to the, the debt to the, all these foreign. Uh, you know what is owed to the international yeah. bankers. It's owed to the international banks that own the Federal Reserve, which is illegal. According to the United States Constitution, the United States government was supposed to print money, not the Federal fucking Reserve. The Federal Reserve is as federal as Federal Express. Guess what? Ask me how many times I pay taxes. I don't pay motherfucking taxes. They don't come to, I don't give them shit. You pay tax because you, you voluntarily go pay taxes. And every single corporation that's set up is in bed with the fucking Fed. And so the first thing they do when you come get hired is say, fill out this W fucking two. And what you don't know is that you can say, no, I'm not filling it out. And if you don't give me a job, I'm suing you and get money from there. That's how Trump not paying taxes? Man, the, the, the elite don't pay taxes. You know what the elite do? <laughs> the elite, they, they play the shell game because they know the real law. Kamala Harris not right. paying taxes either. None of them, none hey. of them people and, are. And for the record, Kamala Harris is not an Israelite. She's she not so-called. Not black she's nope. east indian and she don't give a fuck about your nigga women who the only yeah. one who give a fuck about her because any dumbass nigga voting for a woman is stupider than stupid and any <laughs> nigga voting for a white man or chinese man or anybody that's not their own people is stupid and dumb the bible says matter of fact get it give me the scripture that you don't put anybody over you it's got to be a one of your brethren which means it's got to be a man and it's got to be an israelite a so-called negro latino and Native american that's right and if we don't do no voting that shit show me voting in the scriptures I ain't no fucking voting the Lord set up kings, man. Yeah, yeah, I was just gonna say that, yo. They not like us. They not like us. They like the heathens, man. Go ahead. Is, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 17, verse 15. It reads, Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the let me on, oh, let me see. So we're supposed to set up kings first and foremost. We don't set up and say, Hey guys, uh, what do you do? Well, I'm a lawyer. Well, I'm a janitor. I want to be your boss. Hey, I like this guy. He don't know about being a king. Yeah. You know what it takes to be a king? You have to know people. You have to know law. You have to know order. You have to know structure. You have to know a whole bunch. The king got to be damn near uh, very efficient in almost everything. Yeah. You have to know how to build up buildings. You have to know how to build up schools and, and uh, I mean, structure, order, uh, organizations to make the kingdom run. They even uh, show you that in these uh, uh, period pieces, yeah. all right, in the medieval times. Hey, the, the king's son was with tutors, That's all it. right? You got to know how to do everybody's you know? job that you over. That's a part of being a leader is knowing how to do everybody's job. When you go to these yeah. businesses or these organizations, if they run properly and the leader of that organization is a really sincere individual, they can plug themselves in and do any job that anybody is doing in It's funny in you spot. say that because like my softball team, 
I, tell, I say, look, I just my team. I built the team. This is my team, right? I should be able to play left field, center field, right field, first, second, third, Bring short center, short stop. Short. I play all the goddamn bases. Why? And yeah, how often do I got somebody missing at the games? Every week. Every week. And just how, how many times the positions need some place to be filled? Every week. And guess what? If I ain't got somebody to do it, I gotta do it myself. That's right. And if I own a, if I own the business, I started the business from the floor up. Guess what? I know my motherfucking business. That's right. So wouldn't now would not the most high who set up the business of rulers? The Lord said in the scriptures that he gives dominion. He gives power. He sets up kings. He said in the book of give me that Jeremiah 8. Was it uh you know which one I want? We set up and tear down kingdoms. That's what that's why so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have the problems that we have with one another because we all are kings without understanding that we're kings with a king's set of mind. That's right. You come against the king, what do you do? Off with your head. So now you got somebody bump somebody. I hey, remember you bumping me, man. What the fuck remember the fuck you, man? Boom. War. Right there. All right? And Esau knows this. That's why he uses it against us. All right? That's why he puts scarcity in all our areas, in all our neighborhoods. I don't care if you go to any culture, any matter of fact, any species. They've done this with monkeys. Well, they'll give monkeys, a certain group of monkeys, some stuff, and then they'll put some uh, scarcity about some other monkeys. Uh, within a couple of days. The ones who ain't got, it's they go lose their fucking mind and they go attack the ones who got. It's scarcity. It's very simple. It ain't got even nothing to do with black, white, green, or yellow. And you silly people don't know because you all believe everything the goddamn white man say. Hook, line, and scenery. He don't want to brought your ass over here on slave ships and now you're listening to his dumb ass. Go ahead, bro. I, I know you're holding something. You're holding something. Go ahead. I'll finish this off for you. This is Deuteronomy 17 and 14. When thou art come into the land which the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, giveth thee and shall possess it, and shall dwell therein, and shall say, I will set a king over me, like as all the nations that are that are about me. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord Yahweh thy power shall choose. So the what? Lord's supposed to set up, and uh, whoever's the kings, the Lord sets up kings. All right, that's the most high job. Yep. We sit over here. I vote for Kamala. Ugly. I vote for Biden. Hey, well, well I vote for Trump. Right. Well, you voting, it shows that you all in for this present temporal evil world where the Most High gave over unto the wicked. See, we as so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, this is the place where we're in the lower state. This is the place where we experience, all right, being poor, where we experience the struggle, where we experience suffering, and all the while be kingdom-minded, understanding that we have to go through this. We were appointed. All right, to go th through these things. So when you sitting up here voting, all right, that lets you know that you don't understand what time it is. All right, because people vote to get, you know, certain people in that have a certain mindset that's gonna, you know, basically implement whatever laws and, and, and statutes and things of that nature. You see, but they're gonna implement, who's on the ballot, whoever is on the ballot, they're going to implement the laws and statutes of colonel unrighteous men. Yep. You see? So, and again, you vote for things to get better, you know, for people to be in office, to, you know, put these mindsets so things could get better, right? Well, according to the, the prophecies, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, and it ain't going to do nothing but get worse. We, we need it to get worse. That's right. All right? Because as long as uh, 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 wickedness was given a bounds that it cannot pass. So wickedness must reach its bounds. All right, if wickedness don't reach its bounds, we still here in wickedness. So we, 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 we uh, 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 beg the Lord to hasten that day that wickedness uh, uh, gets worse and worse and worse. All right, this world get worse and worse and worse. It's never gonna get better. As a matter of fact, can somebody give me that uh, 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 second address chapter four? Where it talks about, uh, it, you know, it can't get better until, you know, yeah. Uh, before you get it, though, what you got, brother? I, I was just going to land back off what the older saying about this voting shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Putting your trust in man and not Yahweh Baha'sham, Yahweh Shah. Uh -huh. Psalms 146 and 3 says, put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of man, 
in whom there is no help. Man, that's perfect, man, because you go in Jeremiah 17 and 5, it says, Cursed be the man who trusts the man and make his flesh his arm. I'm going to hold on to flesh. I'm going to hold on to this humanity. I'm going to hold on. Do you understand that the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, we're not real humans. We're actually gods. We're angels in the flesh. Right. And the Lord's got us in human school to learn humanity. So when he puts us over humanity, we won't abuse humanity like the humans are doing to themselves. And oh, we'll judge. Well put, yes, sir. And we'll judge justly. Yep. You see, That's because right. we, the immortals, who right now had to experience being mortals, right? When we're in the kingdom of heaven, all right, hey, it's just that we rule over them because we experience everything that they experience. But guess what? That's why the, the elect. All right, they're the creme de la creme because while we're in mortal flesh, we're not about mortal flesh. All right, we're about the will of the Father, the righteousness of the Father, right. but it's a fight to do so because our flesh want to do everything of this world. You see? You got a question? Oh, okay. Uh, let's, let's... Can I finish this off real quick, y'all? Yep, yep. This is the last part of this uh, uh, verse. This is Deuteronomy chapter 17. I'll start at 15 again. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord Yahweh thy power shall choose. One from among thy brethren, that's the main point, shall thou set king over thee, thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. All right, hey, like the elder was getting into, you, you gotta, if, if you're gonna have a king, all right, over you, it's gotta be one of your own nation, all right? Look, Kamala Harris ain't a black woman. First off, you can't even have a woman, all right, in authority, all right? Come on, man. That, hey, that's first and foremost. I don't listen to a bitch in authority. Matter of fact, do you know what pissed me off today? I'm still up there. Talk, I'm trying to recruit uh, so some guys for my, my 50 year and older, um, 12 inch league. Yeah, I, I just turned 50 a couple months ago. Uh, I know I don't look it, I was kidding. Um, <laughs> and so I'm sitting there calling, come to with some of my guys who play softball all the time. So, yeah, yo, bro, bro. Matter of fact, ask me, can I play with your team? Oh man, I'm, I, I'm gonna have to ask my wife, bro. Um, oh my I'm, 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 God. She already said, old ball and chain. She already Whoa. said. She was already mad. She asked me the other day on Wednesday, where you going? Where you going? Yeah, and I was I like, like, I have like to go I play softball. That. And I was like, man. Life, life. I mean, and then it was not one, but two or three motherfuckers told me this shit because I'm in recruit mode. So I'm asking, hey, oh, my wife. Oh, hey, my wife. And one dude was like, hey, man, I've been with my wife 33 years. I made sure. Oh, my God. And I tell them all, I said, if it was my wife, it, it, she going she gonna, to she gonna back me the fuck up. Otherwise, fuck. I, and I was kicking the dirt like, I said, fuck that bitch. Yeah, yeah. Bring it up. I'm not, I'm not running up behind no woman. The woman better run behind me. That's a real woman don't want no man up her behind her ass and beg her, hey, baby, can I do this? Hey, baby, can I do that? We don't come ask no one. We tell a woman what it is. And a woman like that power. I guarantee you. That's me all day. Can I land back over there? Uh, yes, sir. This is First Timothy. All right. First Timothy. And she walked back smiling and cheesing. And I'm going to start. You know she got wet on that shit. Go ahead, First bro. Timothy two. Women and, get and, hey, women get hot on power, man. That's why they follow Esau, Edom. Right. The scripture says, uh, "Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power." So they follow whoever got the so power. So right now, whoever in power, even if it's the wicked. All right. The people, our people, want favor. All right, from whoever in power. So right now, they want favor from the wicked. That's so it. they able to, they they willing to do whatever the wicked tell them to do. Now of course the wicked not gonna say, hey, we're the wicked, follow us. No, the wicked gonna put on a suit and tie and say, hi, how are you guys doing? And as the scripture said, <laughs> Satan has dis the, uh, disguised himself as an angel, angel of light. light. So right now they get the, they got on the pool pits. They wear those that um, that Dagon um, abominable hat. They wear that Pope hat, that little uh, uh, mid stingy thing. All right, those small little things, you know, them beanies. All right, and they sit up there so and people are like, oh man, they're so righteous. Oh, they're so holy. But then, how many cases of pedophilia are they fighting right now? Right. Yeah. Oh, but the, but they the, but they the righteous priests in, of, of the Lord. Right. All right. Right. Fuck ass out of here, man. Hey, hey, the Olympics was yesterday. Hey, can we get that? Oh, right, right, right. The, the rule, the uh, owner, the director of it was a small hat. You had none but absolute Satanism all throughout it, man. All right, those right. trans that yeah, uh, trans, mock, yeah, yeah. you know, they did they did like a, a mockery of the uh, the, the Last, Last Supper. Supper. Yeah. You see, with transgendered but, mother. But let's let's get that. As if that's holy, and this is on a uh, 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 international stage. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, bro. This second address, chapter four and verse twenty six. Then answered he me and said, The more thou searchest, the more thou shalt marvel. For the world hasted fast to pass away. See, this world, it hasted <clears throat> fast to pass away because this was the world, like Job 9.24 says, was given into the hand of the wicked. You see, but the Most High God, even though he's given the earth into the hand of the wicked, he did it for a purpose and for a time. 
because the Most High God, he's a righteous God. He's not going to give the earth into the hand of the wicked for forever. It was just for a time and a purpose. And that time and purpose is almost up. It hastened fast to pass away. So when we sitting up here, our people sitting up here voting, all right, for something to get better when the Most High God say it's about to get worse. You see? That's Until why. our Lord and Savior comes and makes it better. You see? And set up the eternal righteous kingdom where we, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who are the 12 tribes of Israel, we are going to be put in rulership and on top. And we're going to rule with the righteousness of the Most High God. What he say do, that's what we going to do. What he say don't do, that's what we not going to do. And that's how we going to rule. You see? That's what's going to uh, 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 produce world peace. Go ahead, brother. Verse 27, and cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. See, those that's of this world cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in the time to come. All right, what's promised to the righteous in the time to come? Rulership in the eternal righteous kingdom, the kingdom of heaven. You see, but those that's of this world can't comprehend that because they of this world. That's right. And the scripture says, if you of this world, you are enemy of the most. That's right, brother. That's right, man. And he said, touch not my anointed and, and do, do my, my prophets, prophets no harm. harm. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? What's up, baby? And so, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come yes, sir. Go ahead. All right. It says, for this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities. See, this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities. It don't matter who they put on the ballot. All right. It's full of unrighteousness and infirmities. And that's what they're trying to push. Unrighteousness. Although they're going to, you know, pose it as it's unrighteousness. Right. Go ahead. Verse 28, but as concerning the things world thou askest me, I will the, tell thee. And here's the point. Go ahead. For the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. Because the evil is sown. You see, who planted the evil? The Most High God. So who going to uproot the evil? The Most High God. Period. Through our Lord and Savior. Period. Yeah, how was shot. Hey, we ain't, right now, we have no might in our hands, man. Right now, we're, we're down here. Lord calls us worms. worms. He said, yeah. oh, Jacob, thou worm. We're now, go look, look at a worm. Defensive. I got I got I got chicken and when I overturn a little bit of that dirt and that one burn booty sticking up and it's nothing that chicken gonna stop, stop that chicken from rock, rock, and grabbing that bastard all right down here we can't stop Esau eat him we can't overthrow him we cannot all we can do and fight him with was the word of God because the Lord said our work the, our, the weapons of our warfare are not kernel so our weaponry is in scriptures right and right. guess what for the last 30 40 actually about 50 to 60 no and that was almost around 70 years of Abba Bibbins when he first came out and started teaching. Um, uh, from, um, you, you know what I'm saying? It was it's around seven, 70 years. This is it. All right. And look at what the word of God has done now it's in 70 years. All right. The yeah. Lord, the, man, how, look how much it's going. We, we, over international. All right. We got camps all over. Not doing it the way IUIC do it, trying to jet set over where anyway. We go ahead and put them up on the tube. Put them and put these lessons out and my lord said my sheep hear my voice he said prophesy to the wind the wind goes wherever it listeth it's going to go right into the right ear to the right person gonna wake up and say wait a minute we the what yeah we the hebrew Israelites. like yeah and the white man a goddamn devil i knew it was something wrong with this motherfucking place i mean they're gonna go and i can dig it and they're gonna start reading the scriptures they're gonna grow up in the faith man you got it yeah well you said something about us being worms you, uh and we're defensive see because right now we're subject to the will of the Father, just like everybody is. But check it out. This is Amos 3 and 1. We're going to go right back to that, too. Amos 3 and 1. Hear the word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore will I punish you for all your iniquities. No, that can't be the Bible. Yep, I'm God reading love the Bible. Every, God love everybody. Nope. God love the Chinese. He love the Japanese. He all our fault. Well, see, it don't say that in the Bible, though. So it says, you only, all right, you Israelites only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, will I punish you. You have children, my man. Now, have they ever disobeyed you? They, your parents, I mean, your children never did nothing bad. I can't say no, you're not bad. That's what I'm talking about. Beyond my eyesight. Well, see, I'm saying, did you ever have to put them on punishment? Yes, I have. And now, did you put them on punishment because you hated them and wanted to destroy them? No, I put them on punishment because I love them and want to see them do better. Exactly. So you put them on punishment for moral improvement. Correct. Well, this is what the Most High has to with his special chosen children. He said that, hey, he, if you be without chastisement, 
in the technical word of chastisement means to punish for the sake of moral improvement. That's it. That's it. So here it is. You got to get that rod so you can, because if you don't get the rod, you're going to be willful. It says a, 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 a horse not broken become its head strong. That's right. You see? And you just about your own will. But if you doing particular actions that's a, a bad thing that can hurt, harm, danger you or anyone else, then you get that rod to say, hey, that was bad. That's and when you do bad, that's what's going to be the consequence. To prevent them from doing shit bad exactly. in the future. Exactly. Let me and, back you up too. Real yes, quick. sir. This is Isaiah 42 and 8. I am Yahweh. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. That's it. The Lord said, I'm not giving my glory to another. My children, so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans, the ones on this sign right here, that's, these are the children of the Heavenly Father. He's not giving his glory to nobody. So when he says, look, you only have I known of all the families of the earth, all the different races. He said, uh-uh, you only do I know. Yep. The number one people, oh, my bad, the, the number one people on this side, uh, outside of number one to say Israel, everybody else there, he said those are other families of the earth. Read, could you read what you had read again with this picture right here? Yeah. I'm sorry. Could you, could you read that again? You only yeah. Yep, Amos 3 and 1, or 3 and 2. You only. The true Israelites, so-called Negroes. Why do the so-called Israeli call themselves Israeli instead of Israelites? Because li means like, not necessarily it. So they're not, they don't claim, matter of fact, if you go Google Israeli, they don't say someone who moved a citizen of Israel, but not, and is not to be confused with the Israelites. They're not the Israelites. All right, go ahead. Yep. It says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Out of all the families of the earth, you only have I known. You only are my special chosen children. You only is going to have rulership in the eternal righteous kingdom to come. So you who Israelites, my special chosen children, he said, we don't have no inheritance in this present temporal evil world. All the heathen nations, all right, have an inheritance in this present temporal evil world. Right now, we are in subjection to all these heathen nations right here. You see? But we're coming to be saved. The Lord is coming to save us, all right, from this state that we're in right now of punishment. See, right. you let your children off punishment when you thought they learned a lesson. It's like, all right, you off. You didn't keep them on punishment forever. You see? So the Lord, he's not going to keep us on puni uh, 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 punishment forever. You see? So let's go back to that uh, that second address. Yes, sir. The second address, chapter 4 and 27. Yeah. And cannot comprehend the things that are promised to the righteous in time to come. You're in the time to come. What's the uh, in the time to come? The eternal righteous kingdom where the Israelites are slated to rule. Go ahead. For this world is full of unrighteousness and infirmities. Uh-huh. But as concerning the things whereof thou askest me, I will tell thee. Yes, sir. For the evil is sown, but the destruction thereof is not yet come. See, the destruction is not yet come. But that's the will of the Father for the destruction to come. All right? In, in his time, right? And that's why the scripture says, measure the time diligently in itself. And when thou see as part of the signs pass, which I told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And the scriptures say, part of being godly, part of being holy, separate from this world, is begging the Lord to hasten that day is coming. As opposed to being about this world, trying to prosper and flourish with the wicked. Wanting a piece of the pie, like the uh, 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 life, you know, mm -hmm. whites only pie. Yeah, whites only pie. Yeah, what happened to him? Your he burned his, his damn mouth. tongue. That's why it says, hey, in Micah 2 and 10, for this, us so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, he said, this is this present temporal evil world is not, not your our, rest. That's right, not our rest. It says, it's polluted. It shall destroy you with even with the sword, sword destruction that's if right. you with it. That's right. If you about it. And that's why we should make our body, the scriptures commands us, to make our bodies a living sacrifice and not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind. And when we renew our mind to hell with our opinions, when we renew our mind to hell with our own will, that's right. When we renew our mind to hell with establishing our own righteousness, that's right. Now we roll with the righteousness of the Father. That's being born again. Now we roll with His will. You see? And since his will is to establish internal righteous kingdom that's going to be ruled with what he say righteousness is. Well, that's what we about. 
because we understand that rolling with kernel mindsets is going to produce what's going on in the world every day you That's wake it. up to bad news rape uh -huh. rob murder death mm -hmm. kill envy mask pandemics epidemics wars you see every day every single day you see but the lord promised that there's going to be a world that's ran with his righteousness where it's going to be world peace for all from the rulers all the way down to the last being Kingdom ruled over no end. that's it what you got my brother peace y'all be good and you too hey, brother hey if well. i give you one important words in case i don't see you again and you're going to know these words ring true in a very short period of time it could be this year or next year or so they're going to try to force to put a microchip in everybody if you don't take it, they've been trying that for a while. Now. Yes, but now they're going to make it. They're going to make it law, and yeah. there's already law. But they're going to make it known and enforce it. So where you want to go to the store and buy some food, go to the gas station, do whatever, get gas. If you don't have the blip, if you can come up to the thing and be like blip. If you can't do this blip with your hand, right. you're not going to be able to buy. And this and this is what it's going to come down to. Do you believe in God, or do you believe in the white man and, and his system? And what he's talking about is the mark of the beast. Already got you right yes, now. Exactly. and that's one step closer. That's one step closer. That's right, so brother. deny that mark of the beast, man. And you have a chance, brother. Yes, sir. All right, brother. What you got, my brother? Uh, hey, y'all, and why he's getting that, just for the record, if, if anybody comes to hear uh, this root truth, make sure you tell them the things that are about to happen. If they sitting there and listen. He, he sat there and listened for about 20 minutes or so, 30 minutes. Hey, and he didn't scoff, he didn't buck up. Hey, tell him, hey, don't take that C to the H to the I to the motherfucking P. All right, and tell them what's going to happen. Who knows in that day when it when it come down to enforce it? They, the, 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 the guys out there, they, they, they. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Fuck! Oh. And, 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 and that's what we stand up here. That's part of what we stand up here fighting against right now. Oh my right now. God! Y'all didn't see did that shit right now. Y'all didn't want to even. I'm glad y'all didn't see what we just saw. That shit right there made me want. Right. Who wants some Jello pudding after I saw what I just saw right there? Uh, who, who, who wants some, some Jello pudding, pudding after I saw? Oh, new yeah, 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 yeah. Lord have mercy. That was. Oh, that's the enemy right there, uh, yeah. bro. Yeah. I mean, that himself. motherfucker had to be about six three. You know what I'm all, saying? And all the most. And, and, and big beard. All the most. Sweet as mom's apple pie. I mean, fruitier than a fruit cake. A true fruit terrier. Hey man, shit like that make you want to go home fast. That's right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It makes you want to go home fast. Yeah. Man, it makes you, know? you wait for the can't wait for the Shabbat over. I can actually ride something because I can't get that out of my my my. I would, I'm mad. My my eyesight saw that. This is right. You got to clear. Yeah. Where's my system? It's uh, Ecclesiastes six. Ecclesiastes uh. six. Rack sixteen and one. It reads: Desire, desire not a multitude of unprofitable children, neither delight in the un ungodly sons. You know. And the Most High God is ultimately saying, "What uh, judgment shall start in this house first, man? You know, the Most High God is not going to deal with these ungodly ass moles that's walking around here." And, 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 and what three? Just three with the last minute? Yeah, yeah. it was a damn. Uh, it was a damn. Uh, this nigga had to get this. He had a motherfucking uh, with them girls, little what you call them yeah, things? Yeah, he, them little yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girls yeah, yeah. Where yeah. He just yeah. The Shirley Temple. The whole thing was Shirley Temple. Yeah, damn. He called you me walking in the wrong direction. Yeah. Boy, yeah. sounded yeah. that way. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Uh, yep. You finished it? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, verse 2 it reads Though they multiply, rejoice not in them, except the fear of the Lord be with them. And the fear of the Lord is not with the majority of our people, man. Two thirds have to die therein in this uh, place called America, man. And then those that don't want the Lord to reign over them, the Lord said, Bring them hither, slay them before me. Hey, I raise my hand up every time. Got it. And that right. show you the power of the Lord and the spirit of the Lord. That's the mindset of the Lord. You got it? Uh, Let's go. Oh, I, I just, just want to oh, laugh at you. Just a little bit more. Okay. A little bit more. Uh, verse 3, it says, Trust not thou in their life, neither respect their multitude, for one that is just is better than a thousand, and better is it is to die without children than to have them that are ungodly. Right. So we don't we 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 don't uh, 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 know what kind of children are coming out of our loins, man. But the Lord does, man. That's why the Lord bears you and stops you from things that happen. Me and the elder brother was just talking about this this week. You know what I'm saying? The Lord stops and lets and stops and makes a man not be not able to his seed to grow 
or, or increase, and he does the same thing with a woman where she can't receive the seed, man. That's it. All right? It's better for you not to even have one. Yep. If the elect has to come through, then he's coming through. That's it. That's it. What you got? Yeah, I'm just lying back and off what he was saying about these children, man. Proverbs 13 and 24 says, He that spared his rod hated his son. Man. But he that loveth him chasten him big time. Man, most of these Negro women and Negro men hate their children. All right? They hate themselves. Right? The Lord says, Should your sins have withholding good things from you? Why you, why, why, what, what, remember when we was kids and the, the, the older brother, whatever, they be like, why are you beating up yourself? Why are you beating up yourself? Why are you doing it to yourself, man? You, you, you're killing yourself. Niggas are smoking and, and uh, uh, being all out of it, all these goddamn different drugs and all these different systems and shit. All that is causing death. All right? And so we're trying to save our people from the great death to come. The Lord said back as in the days of Noah, when he destroyed it with a flood, he said it's going to be just like that. He's going to destroy it with a fire. And knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, all right? So we can try to get you out of that jam. Well, guess what? My sheep hear my voice, and time is running out. That's yep. right. Hey, let's, uh, oh, go ahead, brother. Revelation, you know, 3 and 19, he say, those who he loveth, he rebuke and chasten it. That's right. Be zealous and repent, man. Come back to your power, man, okay? Because uh, I just put that Psalms 146 and 3, Put not your trust in princes, okay? And man, because they help is vain. They can't do shit. Your, your savior is your how will Baha Sham, your how will shine. That's right. And, and 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 don't say that old JC shit because he ain't trying to hear that, okay? He's right. Well the, the Macy, the Macy, the Macy, the Macy lady just uh screamed out. She said, I what? I rebuke you in the name of who? Right. How? And he and he told how? her off. Okay. He said wrong, that demon said wrong name. Wrong name. Wrong name. Huh? That's right. This, Go ahead, brother. This second address, chapter four, in verse 29. If therefore that which is sown be not turned upside down, and if the place where the evil is sown pass not away, then cannot it come that is sown with good. You see, then can it not, then can it not come that is sown with good. What's sown with good? The eternal righteous kingdom to come. You right. see? And so it well, phone had to chime in on that one. Alright, and so what you voting for seeing that the lord said then it's not going to be good until the destruction of this place so you should be begging the lord to hasten that day for the destruction of this place you should beg the lord to hasten that day that the wicked all right go ahead and reaches his height of the bounds that it cannot pass that's what we should be praying for that's what we should be about not sitting up here voting like this place is going to get better when that's not the will of the Father. It's not going to get better until the coming of our Lord and Savior that's going to put a judgment by way of fire on this place, cleanse it, renovate it, all right, and then build up the kingdom of heaven, man. You see? Go ahead, brother. This Malachi chapter 4 and verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly, shall be stubble you see all the proud who is the proud those that exalted another mindset above the mindset of the most high god if you if you out here voting you part of the proud all right because you trying to you know vote for uh, uh, someone to make this present temporal evil world better when the bible the lord already said that no 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 evil is going to increase every day until it reaches its height so you're against the will of the Father if you out voting thinking that this, trying to put somebody in office that you think is gonna make this place better. But you see every single day, every single week, every single month, every single year, it gets worse and worse, more weird and weird, more wicked and wicked. You see, that's right. the will of the Father, man. On, yeah. So we should embrace that. Right. And, and, and while the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, we make our body a living sacrifice. That's right. Go through all the necessary experiences that we got to go through and fight the good fight of faith to produce righteousness whole time. Go ahead, brother. Continue on. Start. Yeah, we'll start start on the, yeah. This Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up Saith the Lord of hosts, wow. that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Yep. 
But unto you that fear my name, mm. shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Woo! We, we're talking about healing, all right? We need to be healed, Jack. That's right. That's right. We need, to be we need our Savior, man. Bad. Bad. And if you don't think so, you got a problem on your hand. Yeah? <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Because, but it says, man, you shall burn, it, that, that, that day that shall burn like an oven, that's the destruction of this present temporal evil world that our Lord and Savior is coming with, man. That's right. You see? And that's what we should be begging the Lord to hasten that day. All right? And again, that's part of being godly. Somebody grab that in that second uh, Peter 3. And um, you can start at verse 10. Yep, but go ahead, brother. <clears throat> it says, but unto Malachi 4 and 2, but unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And he shall go forth and go up as the cows of the stall, and ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, save Yahweh of hosts. That's it. So you don't want to be part of the stubble in that day. All right? See, but all these people that's about this world, that's out here voting, that has got all kind of uh, uh, mindsets for this world to continue on, you're going to be stubble in that day. See? Go ahead. This... Isaiah chapter 66 and 15 for behold the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebukes with flames of fire for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many and hey that's just uh, what the elders going into hey when our Lord and Savior comes back he's coming back with fire and that fire is going to consume everything that's uh, everything everything that's here you see the lord isn't coming back with lollipops and, and, and rainbows the lord is coming back to render a judgment to this place right the scriptures speak about how the sins have reached unto the heavens uh -huh. let's get that uh we'll get that second go ahead yes second peter 10, 10 but the day of the lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat and this is the this what with, yep. with fervent heat. Yep, and, and here it is. This is the destruction that we was talking about or read about in that second address. It says that, the, the you know, uh, until this place that where the evil was sown pass away and it, it is destroyed, right? Then cannot it come that it's sown with good? You see? It can't come that sown with good until this place is destroyed, all right? And it's our Lord and Savior who's going to come as a thief in the night, but only, he's coming only as a thief in the night to those that's of this world. You see, he's not coming in the thief in the night to us. We're looking for him. That's right. All right. And he, the Lord, the scriptures say, uh, lest he catch you unawares. That's it. All right. Are you going to be found looking for him? Or when he come, he's going to find out here up there, start pretending, kicking and stuff. Right. Like, huh? Right. Oh, shit. Who are you? What's going on? Missile. Nah, right. You know what I'm saying? So, no, nah, we sitting up here, we, you know, looking out the window for the thief. All right. We, we, we hoping that every, uh, 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 Head like that come, all right, down the street. This is your Howard shot. Right. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead, brother. So like this is. This is Mama said he's gonna do it. Put on a hot ass one. Go ahead. It says the earth also in the world. Are you good? You good, bro? They all over here. They ain't pointing at him. He was good. Yep. It says the earth also. And the works that are therein shall be burned up. You see, everything gonna be burned up here, man. Go ahead. So why are you trying to set up a kingdom here? Right. Why are you trying to go ahead and start to establish your 401k? And, and, and why are you trying to live your best life? Living your All best right. life. What about the dude? He, he, he's still working on that thirty thousand dollars. Oh yeah. Dollars. Oh yeah. You remember him? Yeah. So I just need to make this thirty thousand dollars. Man, he could have got that with a PPP. Come on, man. Go ahead. Uh, Yo, verse eleven. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, burned up. What manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? What manner of persons are, should you be in all, uh, uh, what it say? Holy conversation. In all holy conversation. And that word conversation is the Greek word anastrophe, which means conduct. All right. Should you be about the conduct? Of, uh, of a carnal, uh, mere mortal man, or should you be about the conduct of the Most High God? And because He said, by the Most High God, it, our actions weigh. That's right. You see, 
What are good actions? What are bad actions? What is good conduct? What is bad conduct? You see? So what seeing that the Lord is coming with some wrath for those who was about what he called and deemed bad conduct, all right? He's coming to put a judgment by way of fire on them. And he's gonna save those that was fighting to be about the righteousness, the right, good, accepted conduct. That's right. Hey, he's, he's going to save those who are not only fighting for it, but was actually suffering because they were for, for righteousness. Are oh, you good? All right, they're, they're the ones that were actually suffering for righteousness, the, who's actually calling on his name and doing hardness as a good soldier. All right, the one who's sighing and crying. He said he's looking to save the ones that is halted, the one that is maimed, the one that is hurt and sorrowful and crying right now. That's right. He's, what 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 is what is Esau need saving for when he in the penthouse? Yeah. See, their houses are safe from fear. Right. Safe from fear. The, the wrath for the Most High is not upon them. Therefore, they don't look at the Lord. They don't mm -hmm. need the Lord. Job twenty one, I believe. They call they they call their lands after their own names. But when I say he got his own money, he got his <laughs> own <laughs> money. Yeah, the, the, those who are in rulership and make you know got all the influence, all the power, all the riches, they don't need to be saved. I appreciate the You see. Go ahead, brother. Job 21 and verse 13. They spend their days in wealth and in a moment go down to the grave. Perfect. Therefore they say unto God, depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. What is the Almighty that we should serve him? And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? Right, you see? Because right now they already in rulership, man. And here it is, they like that X. You know what I'm saying? And when I say X, meaning the A-X-E. You see, they think that they just willed in themselves. They I don't understand. Right, I did it. I put me in power. That's I the scriptures. What, 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 and, and, uh, uh, Maccabees the first? No, first Maccabees. What did they do? Oh, they set, they set themselves as kings and put crowns on their heads and. Yep. I'm king. Right. Now, so, you do not to be king, no, but I can do it. Right. I'm king. I'm and, the man. And they don't understand that it's the most high it says for promotion cometh neither from the east nor the west nor the south it you says but the, the most high god is old. the judge real quick he got to back you up right because i mentioned, yeah. you mentioned this earlier get jeremiah 1 and 10. Jeremiah. But, uh, let, let me let me finish my thought uh it says that most uh the, the most high god is the judge he put it down one and that's set it up another. That's, that's right. That's, that's the other one I was talking about. That's, yeah. that's the other one I was. I quoted, I was trying to quote that one. I, I, I combined two scriptures. You know how we do this. Oh, sometimes. yeah, yeah, yeah. But go ahead, hit it. Go ahead. That's, the, that's funny. The Spirit brought it right back around. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 10. See, I have, I have, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. Keep one more. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? And okay, I said, good. Okay, that's good. So he said, I put pull down, I set up, I plant. This is the Lord's show. All right, this is his game board. All right, and guess what? He controls all the pieces, and he made all the pieces, and he know what pieces he made and what purposes he made his pieces. Right. All right. You got it. Yep, let's go back to that uh, Peter. Uh, this, uh, you want to read 11 again? Yes, sir. This 2 Peter 3 and 11, saying then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? In all holy conversation, holy conduct, and godliness. Now, read the next verse. This is part of being holy and godly. Verse 12 looking for and hasting what looking for and hasting uh-huh until the coming of the day of the, of the most high uh-huh see looking for and hastening we're looking for the coming of our lord and savior Yahweh. What's that word hastening mean? let's look it up let's let's look it up and then here it go 444 as I, I i grab my phone call her lawyer mercy all right let's go ahead hasten it says to move or act with haste, proceed with haste. Now let's look up haste. Swiftness of motion, speed, urgent need of quick action, a hurry or a rush, all right? Begging the Lord to hurry, please come. If it be your will, Lord, rush. <laughs> rush, rush and come. <laughs> 
This ain't unnecessarily quick action. No, this is necessarily. All right? We need the Lord to come ASAP if you're about world peace. We need the Lord to come ASAP if you are uh, uh, about a ruling class mentality. Uh, and that's going to rule for eternity because you can only rule for eternity with the rules of the Most High God. And the phone had to chime in on that one. That's right. <laughs> you see? I got the, uh, the Greek for it. Mm -hmm. One of the definitions, it says to make, it says to haste, make haste, to desire earnestly. Wow. To desire earnestly. And what are we desiring earnestly? The coming of our Lord and Savior. We're not trying to say, oh, hold up, Lord. I'm, I'm living my best life right now. Give me right. some more years. Give me some more time. You know what I'm saying? Delay the judgment. Delay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Uh, today. Yeah. Tomorrow. Our mindset is, Lord, please come ASAP. Put the wicked down. It, uh, uh, King David said, Lord, come. Uh, 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 Help. Let, let not man prevail. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. And this is from the this is men of the Lord, and and that He's sanctioned in the scriptures. That's it. Let these heathen know they ain't nothing but just some fucking your human being, your Homo sapiens and your gun. Yeah, you mere, almost said mere, mere mortals. Precept. Go ahead. Bro. And for the record, before we came to the truth, guess what we all uh, what we loved and cared about all humanity right and we actually still care about humanity of course the difference is we don't love their ass no more because right now <laughs> they've been putting their foot up ours and but and we, now we understand it but when we back in power we're gonna love them and that's why we're gonna take care of when them they're and, and, and taking well no we're gonna take care of them and taking well, care of them if, if, taking care of them the is part. ruling over them <laughs> taking right. care of them is breaking them from their innate heathenistic way right you see we're gonna save them from themselves uh, and they need it so desperately and i was speaking of the love part I'm I'm not loving them, they're acting the fuck off. You know what I'm saying? No, right see, now they, they, they're fucking off. Well, see, creation, this is ours. That's right. You know, through the spirit and power, you how about you shy, we help make it. I got so reason. what's yours, you care about, or should. You see, the world is ours, so we care. That's right. That's, That's why we care up. of how it's being ran and that the wicked is running and running it in total opposition of the righteousness of the most high God, and that's why it's a living hell. And so we hate that, man, because this is ours. We know how it should be ran. That's right. Right? It should be ran with the instructions of the creator. That's right. With the blueprint. With the blueprint, man. You can't, you can't sit up there and get a game like Monopoly and then go get the uh, Connect Four and then try to play it. <laughs> the that's rules that. of Connect Four to <laughs> Monopoly. That's not going to work. All right? This is Deuteronomy 11 24. Yes, this sir. Is one of my, you say something. That this is one of my favorite scriptures. Every place where on the soles of your feet shall tread. Yeah shall be yours yours from the wilderness in lebanon from the river to the river euphrates even to the utmost sea uh, shall your coast be he said from the ruler to, to the, the motherfucking tuna if, if your feet can land on it it's yours, yours. That's right. yep this is so the world. she's mine Go yep. ahead. the world was made <laughs> for our sake <laughs> man for, her. for the righteous's <laughs> sake <laughs> All right, but the righteous had to go through the process of being purified no, you, and perfected. You, you, you see, and it took this present temporal evil world to purify and perfect his special chosen children, starting off with the elect. So let's go back to that. Uh, let's go back to that Peter, man. The second Peter three and twelve. Looking for and hasting uh -huh. until the coming of the day of the most high. You see, we're looking for. All right, the coming of our Lord and Savior, because we understand that, hey, that's when we're going to be complete, purified and perfected. That's when he's coming. He said, hey, when he come, he's going to change us in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye at the last trump, man, that he may turn us from these vile bodies that we're in, that we may get the, those new bodies, those glorious bodies. You see, that's what we're waiting on, man, patiently waiting on, but yet still begging the Lord to hasten that day. Go ahead, brother. This is Rock chapter 36 and verse 7. Raise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. Make the time short. Remember the covenant and let them declare thy wonderful works. Mm. Mm -hmm. And that's what we, hey, we're hastening. We were asking the Lord to, hey, come back and set up your kingdom, man. Hey, hey bring this destruction. You know? 
Go, go ahead, brother. Let's get back in that uh, second Peter. Yo, the second Peter 3 and 12. Looking for a hasty until the coming of the dead of Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And that's that judgment that our Lord and Savior is coming with. We talked about it and, and, and read about it in Second Entrance, man. That, uh, you know, what's sown with good, it cannot come until the this place be judged by way of fire. All right? And those that's about this world going to be judged by way of fire. Even cuties, too. That's right. You see? Go ahead. Find sexy bitches. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Go <laughs> ahead. Hey, y'all don't know that that was actually a, uh, the ones that the females back in the day came against Elder Nathaniah, and uh, they were fine too. But then, and we was all dialogue, all brothers into it until they scoffed him, and then we cussed their ass out. You fine, sexy, wicked bitches. Yeah, you, know, you and you're right. A lot of you, it's gonna be a lot of beautiful women getting destroyed. A lot of handsome niggas getting put down. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of. Lot of uh, 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 Yahawa, 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 Yahawa. That's the name of the father. Yahawa. You got it. You got it. Yes, sir. And uh, let's let's go back to that second Peter. This second Peter three and thirteen. It says, nevertheless, well, we nevertheless, because we just read in, in verse twelve how that you know we're begging the Lord to hasten that day to bring that fire, right? We're looking for it, right? People be like, but you're here too. Yeah, yeah, but we're gonna save us out. Gonna be exactly. He said we're, he's gonna say come up here. That's it. See, we, we have that confidence and we have that expectation, all right, to be saved. Because the Lord said, Hey, if you do this, this, and this, then I'm gonna save you. This is what we're doing. You see, all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shah. So we expect. You see, that he said what he was gonna do. If we did what he, he we were supposed to do. He gonna do it. That's right. So yeah, we here, but guess what? We're looking for this to come. Go ahead. It says, nevertheless, we, according to his promise, uh -huh. look for new heaven. Look for a new heaven. And a new earth. A new earth, a new heaven, meaning a new rulership. That's right. You see, a new ruling structure. That's right, which we'll be a part of. That, which right. we'll be a part of, man, a part of that governing body. Our Lord and Savior is the governor, all right? And it's going to be the house of David, right? And the, and that's going to be the governing body. And All how we were speaking, governing body. that's right. And how we were speaking, now the Lord is setting us up to be kings, and you just can't set anybody to be a ruler. That's right. The Lord, we're in king school right now. That's right. right. And how we go to king school is by going through the shite. Well, you, you got to pay the cost to be the boss. To be the boss. That's man, right. and we paying for it. Yahweh Shai say, Oh, man. Can you drink of this cup? Hmm. He said, you surely shall drink of this cup. Man. Right, she's drinking up it right now. Hey, see, he's drinking of that cup. <laughs> it says, because it says our Lord and Savior drunk of it. And that was when uh, uh, the scriptures talk about the captain of our salvation being made perfect through suffering. That's it. He drunk of that cup. That's he it. suffered. All right. And he accepted the will of the Father. That's it. You see? Now, we got to go through the same thing. It says bringing many sons into glory. That's it. That's right. All right. And so how do we get to that glory? All right. We got to go through, through the this. Fire. We got to go through the fire, man. The spiritual fire. See, see, all of everybody going to touch that fire. That's yep. right. But we're doing the spiritual fire. Right. If you don't repent, you, it's like you're going to go through the physical fire. Physical right. fire. So man. if you got to go through the fire, oh, my dad. might as well go to this fire. Might as well. Shit. Might as well. You see? Yeah. But it's already written, you know. Who part of that elected who, who's going through the spiritual fire that's going to escape the physical fire you see and the, then the rest of our people which is the majority they're going to have to get caught up in the physical fire where he said there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth i always talk about that and give an analogy or similitude of stumping your uh you ever stump that toe on the uh on the bed that that metal part of the bed oh man you stump that toe and you like ah, you grinding your teeth you like ah yeah. see but what happens is that pain subsides yeah you know what i'm saying within a matter of seconds or even minutes Hop around a little see but this weeping and gnashing of teeth it ain't gonna subside within seconds or within minutes he said you're gonna dwell in torments dwell and weeping and gnashing of teeth. And dwell means to stay there, abide. To, to, you dwell, your dwelling is your creed. Yes. Kick your feet up. Yeah. So when you're going to dwell in the Lord, see, that's the thing. You all think that it's going to be like, you know, like Esau. You die and poof, 
and you're dead. It's like you're no more yeah, pain. It's right. like, no, the Lord said, I can keep your spirit and I can make your spirit. You don't know the Lord, man. man. Listen. You don't know the power of the Lord. When yeah, he said they should know listen. it by death, by pain. pain. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the Lord ain't lying. That's why it says through the fear of the Lord, we persuade men. Right? You belied the Lord to think that the Lord ain't about to put that pain on your ass. Yep. What'd was it bringing, was that uh, the signal to them to do the assassination thing on that one movie? Bring in the pain. <laughs> bring the pain. Was the Lord about to bring that pain on you? That's yep. Right. Yep. Uh, he came to bring the pain, hardcore from the brain. Come on. Go ahead, inside joke. This Psalms 58 and verse 6 break their teeth, O God, Ooh. of their mouth. Wow. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Yahweh. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. When he beneath his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as cut in pieces. Damn. As a snail which melteth, let every one of wow. them pass away like the untimely birth of a woman oh that they God. may not see the sun. Oh, my damn. As a snail melted? Hey, oh, hey, my damn. Hey, 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 would you read that again? Because if the, when the Lord tells you his poetry and how he in his mind dark all right he's telling you what his in, the Darkness. thoughts and intents of the heart of the lord he said your thoughts ain't my thoughts your ways ain't my ways so when the lord sit there and tell you his thought wow. and tell you his ways and you reject it and still roll with yours and Nathan then he described it right? so eloquently Nathan that means it's coming for you Directly. What'd you say? You, you know you didn't fucked up. You know you didn't fucked up. Why are you going to your lower, lower You know you didn't fucked up. Why are you going to your lower, lower range? Man. <laughs> yeah, she read it again. This Psalms 58 and 6. Break their teeth, oh God, Break, and their do mouth. Do you know how painful that is to get your tooth broken? Somebody that's take a, a sledgehammer oh and, and bam and just starts. Oh that's what damn. they did to us oh on the slave my, ships. Oh to force us to eat. Because we wasn't trying to eat. We were like, nope, nope, nope. They chained us I down, held us down, down. Yeah. And, and, and they forced fed us through a funnel oh. and broke teeth, man. Do you know that shit bloody and a bloody mess? And then you don't have your motherfucker, you know, your government up a bep. Your system's all your fucked system up. Your system's fucked up. They'll tell you right now that the dentist will not remove a healthy teeth. I tried. They, and they said that teeth is not corrupted. He said, no, you can die by just um, having the teeth removed. That don't, you can bleed out. It has to be a reason for the tooth to come out. Otherwise, they're not gonna. Rep not, they say we don't do that. We don't pull no teeth unless it's supposed to be pulled. Mm -hmm. All right. They don't care about no cosmetic shit unless you go to one of them super rich motherfuckers, right? So when you talking about getting smashed and breaking your fucking teeth, the Lord said He gonna do that. Read it again. Oh. Psalms fifty-eight and six. Break their teeth, O oh God. The in Lord their mouth. said, break their teeth. All right. Go ahead. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Yahweh. And right now, if the Mossad doesn't break down Esau, Eden, the so-called white man, and tear him down, we're going to be stuck with the white man forever. And if you think it's a place you want to be stuck forever, you die right along with the white man, you wicked bitch. Go ahead. Let them melt, Slacky, verse 7. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. He said let them melt real quick. Somebody give me um, their eyes shall melt in their hole. Right you already 14. know. Yeah, exactly right the Lord tell you gonna be like that piece of M&Ms in your hand. The Lord said that's what he about to do to this planet. But still in the so-called Negro, the Latino, the Native American Indian, the real Israelites by blood. The, for the, what they put us in slavery, put us on goddamn cargo slave ships, put us in goddamn Jim Crow laws, put us in the goddamn projects, put us in these wicked ass schools and all these wicked ass holidays. There ain't no fucking holy day. Christmas ain't no holy day. Thanksgiving ain't no holy day. Halloween ain't no holy day. Those are all pagan holidays that go all the way back to fucking devil worship and killing kids and uh, drinking blood and all kind of shit. That's right. And got our people say it's for the kids. Easter's for the kids. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And bunnies don't fucking lay eggs, you, you stupid. That, use it, use it. Go ahead, bro. Psalms 58 and verse 7. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. Lord said let them melt. Have you ever just put a piece of chocolate out and forget it? And next thing you know about it, you come back and come back and say, oh shit, it's all melted. Oh, yeah. Imagine a person melted then. Go ahead. When he bent of his bow to shoot his arrows. And that's not no regular arrow. He's talking about nuclear missiles. That's what causes a fire to burn. With the scripture the brother read out earlier, the days shall come like that shall burn like an oven. When, now, right now, it's probably in the mid 80s right now. It's a little hot. I mean, it's for somebody wearing a big ass sweater, it's a little hotter for them. All right. <laughs> All right. <It's, laughs> but he said it's going to be so hot like an oven, a, a modern day industrial oven. Well, see, a modern day stove is about 400, 500 degrees. But when the industrial ovens, you start talking about the tens of thousands of degrees. All right. The nuclear fire is going to be in the millions of degrees. Go ahead. 
Let them melt away as waters which run continually when he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows. And, those, and that's those missiles. Go ahead. Let them be cut. Let them be as cut in pieces as a snail which melteth. Let every one of them pass away. Wow. And have you ever seen, uh, was it, put, put salt, I think, on snail, salt on the yeah, snail? snail yep. right. And you're going to see his ass melt, right? Yeah. All right? Slow agonizing death. Right? Yep. All right? Go ahead. Like the untimely birth of a woman that they may not see the sun. And that's that 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 uh that 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 stillborn child, all right? That don't that doesn't. That, you got YouTube. I give you my channel. You can check it out. Hey, uh, uh give me the one that, that uh, I said. Hold on, and uh, Zechariah, Baba Kishar. Bring it out. Hey, hey, and it's always good to ear Glory, hustle, man. Fourteen. You sincere. Yeah. The brother came out there, came into the car, and was sitting down. He rolled the window down and been ear hustling. Uh, hopefully, you hear something and you and and and, and, and keep searching it out. Um, you got it, Zechariah. And it's the book of Zechariah, chapter 14 and verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. You know, he, he looked like a lawyer. He do. He made me think of a lawyer he when I, and I just yeah, got off the phone that. with him. I can see that. Yeah. Oh, what's up? What happened? Um, he, he, they, they, he, got, he touched down, but uh, he, um, he, they haven't heard from him. We haven't heard. He, just, he texted in the group chat that he got here, and he was in his hotel around 2.33. I perceive he went to sleep and he, he knocked out. Okay. So I will see how this will right. be all right. Ahead, all right. Zechariah chapter 14 Man. and verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. So if you ever seen the Sarah Connor and the, uh, we used to have a poster and terminator while she was standing on her feet feet and her hands were on the fence and the nuclear went first she was like watching the kids play like haha then the, the nuclear missile came and then that that fire came and she melted she disintegrated it was nothing but a skeleton clinging on to the fence after the burning go ahead brother two minutes after that the title screen showed up judgment day beautiful no, no. beautiful all right all right all right go ahead come on let's say their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Man, and, that's cold. And their eyes shall consume away in their hole. Now, wow. you, now, have you ever seen Indiana Jones, um, the, the first one, Raiders of the, Raiders uh, Raiders of the Lost, of the Lost Ark. Ark, when they pulled over the Ark, their so-called priest that was uh, that was among them. I was just thinking right? that before you said that. Yeah, uh, um, <laughs> um, when they opened it, now you know that's fantastical. The little spirits. Was it come. the Temple of Doom? No, no, it's yeah. the Raiders of Lost. I was just bullshit, oh. just so I could just say it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> God. Uh, and so they opened up the lid to the ark, which, for for the record, the ark is hidden in I forgot uh, and and the mountain. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's in uh, Mount Hermon. I forgot. I think it's Mount Hermon. Uh, uh, I think it Jeremiah. is. It's Jeremiah, and it's, it's in the book of Maccabees. Yeah. Um, speaking on it, okay. Um, and so, uh, when they open, but in the movie, going back to the point, when they open it up, the, 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 the spirits, the angels, came out, and and um, everybody who was there, they got over consumed by this energy. Dude got eyes literally melted. He melted away. They made him melt. All right. That's the Lord said in that fire. Matter of fact, the fire is going to be so hot of those nuclear missiles. He said America is going to be nothing but a desert, a desert creature with des uh, nothing but desert creatures, man. Satires and owls and fucking scorpions, man. All right. So it's going to be so hot. It's going to be actually able to melt steel. 9-11. All right. It's going to be actually hot to melt cement. It's going to be hot. Matter of fact, to this, to this day. Mm. All right, the top of, uh, 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 of, of Mount Sinai, Mount Hermon, all right, is still burnt from the from the Lord bring, coming with the chariot over over the mount. Okay, and the Lord said, "Hey, don't come near this mount. It's gonna be hot. You're gonna get burnt the fuck up." All right, so you're talking about a hotness, a fireiness that the Lord says is gonna to cause to melt you. The Lord is going to melt you mm. Mm -hmm. if you do not repent. You will be that Eminem's in your hand. All right, that you just sit there trying to save her, but then you didn't realize as a kid, you hold them, next thing you're gonna be chocolate, you're gonna be licking your hand, all right? The Lord's gonna melt you. You get that, Ezekiel? Go ahead. Ezekiel 22 and 20. As they gather silver That's right. and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it, to melt it, <laughs> so will I gather you <laughs> in my anger and in my fury, and I will leave you there and melt you. 
See, the Lord said he going to melt you. And make me think of uh of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. When they sit there, I, say, I, I hate to enact, reenact this, and I'm the fucking uh, centurion. And we say, come here, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. We burn you into the fire. And here come the fire. Are you come over here. <laughs> hey, right. <laughs> melt you. <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey it, it melted the motherfuckers who told you to fire. The fire come out, took everybody up in there. And then the Lord preserved um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Chill. Yeah. And, and, and yeah. in the fire, it, it came out, and then they, they said he didn't, didn't even smell, smell like, like smoke. smoke. Yeah. Right. Hey, they still had on the, uh, you know, the cool water cologne. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, or not, maybe it was brute back then. Right. <laughs> oh, no, right. Old Spice. Old Spice. It's old, because it's old. It's old Spice. Come on, man. I, I, I pretty much can laugh back. I'm here all week. Uh, this is just to land back off what the elders are talking about. You know, that, 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 that fire. Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, right. saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey for my determination is to gather the nations oh, that I may assemble the kingdoms and to melt them to pour upon them my indignation damn, ah, damn. even all my fierce anger man, ah. man y'all gonna learn to fear the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai man it says every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess That's you right. better do it right now That's so it. you can escape this what we're, 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 we're reading about man That's right hey and, and, and it's so cold-blooded just like the young man the young man came out of one of them stores or something with a big bag to a car that was already waiting on him he's sitting back because the whoever the mom wasn't in the car yet and and he just rolled ear hustled. he window. just woke he rolled down the one of the ear hustle and I'm not saying before he, he coming to before he got in the car, he before he even opened it, he was kind of looking. Yeah, back. right. When he calls the and then like, they unlocked the door. He finally got in, and then it was like, and he started hustling. Yeah. Old girl in the front seat even turned around and checked, and then she's like, ah, back to her phone. Right. All right. But he sat there and ear hustled for a minute. Yeah. Do you know that if that was his window, whether he gets it or not? If he don't get it, that was his window of opportunity that he's going to wish that why that burned like, oh, I should have did it. Or that's his window to get sal salvation, get saved. And it was that quick. He had no idea he was going to see the men of the Lord. He was going to hear the word of the Lord. He didn't know, have no idea who the Lord was. Just like Samuel, he did not yet know the Lord. All right. And, and then you get an opportunity. That's how fleeting this truth is and how great it is to receive it. And how the most high is doing everything. He said, we are uh, God's husbandry. That's right. We are God's building. That's it. And it's him, the most high God, that's doing all these things, man. That's and it. putting, waking brothers up. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, bringing the elect in from all over the world, man. Mm -hmm. You know? But, I, I, yep. I just finished this off Go real ahead. quick. It says... For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. And that's that ICBM missile fire that he's talking about. You know the Sarah Connor where she's standing on the fence? And the next thing you know, she's standing there still, but yeah, she's on fire. Man, can spirit. you, as, hey, yeah. Hebrews 10 and 31, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the true and living God, all right? So repent and come back to you. How about Hashem and how Shah while we preaching this word, man? Why, 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 the, why the mercy hand still out there? That's it. Because that door of repentance is closing, man. Matter of fact, uh, you're done. Give me that uh, second address, nine. Right, right. To start around like I don't know, wherever the spirit tells you. Go ahead, brother. Hey, but you know how so cold is? He came looking for Shakespeare and the Lord right here. And I gave him the directions on how to find Shakespeare. If he would have stayed a moment, he might find a way to find the creator of Shakespeare. That's it. You and I understand that Shakespeare was a so called black man. Out of his own autobiography. Shakespeare called himself he referred to himself and he said this how he would get mad at uh, people calling him a little black Jew boy. You know what I'm saying? So Shakespeare knew that he was so-called black. Why don't you? Hmm. And and a Jew. Why don't you know? Right. All right. Go ahead. You got it. Brother. I just but that just. That no, just, you good. Uh, you good. Uh, yes, sir. That just made it so fitting how the one dude can get it and then somebody can't. Just like you. This is like you said. This is this is the script of the Lord. Yeah. This is the piece of the Lord. The Lord is moving all these chess pieces and, and you uh, excellent analogy as a husband man. Because when we we planting stuff at the house, we know what we plant. And then if I see something come in my plot that I didn't plant, 
an enemy has done this. Uh -huh. <laughs> enemy <laughs> right. has done it. Yep. Hey, hey, and what do we do? We usually uproot anything that's not supposed to be there. And now if something good go there, we might let, let it ride. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I remember last season, all between my cucumbers, all between my, my kale, all between my carrots and so forth, I had sunflowers everywhere. Because the because the birds, my chickens would go everywhere and, and pop poop, poop out their poop. And then and, and some uh, undigested seeds would go into the ground. And so how do I got a whole bed of cucumbers with three some big dumbass sunflowers in every single plot? My whole back, my whole plot looked like sunflowers, but it was all a bunch of fruits and vegetables there. All right. So we, you, you, the Lord likes that husbandry and that planting. The, the, the Lord knows he, you know that the Lord planted Camela, Cam, 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 um, the, the East Indian uh, um, Trans fucking, yeah. fucking transplant. The Lord did that. All right. The Lord set up Donald Trump. Got him. All right. You got to get a better look. The Lord, <laughs> the Lord, had, the Lord set up every single Talk person. About, I'm <laughs> As you still looking that way. <laughs> ah, go ahead. Man, water ain't quenching. Hey, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter nine and verse seven. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the sad perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. There you Keep go. Then shall they be in pitiful case, uh -oh. which have, which now have abused my ways. Which oh. now have abused my ways. See, the men of the Lord are out here telling you about the ways of the Most High God, man. See, but when you just fan a hand, keep on walking, and you know, think you it's a better way. All right. Well, you just rejected Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. The Proverbs say the simple walk on and are punished. Yep. Yep. You simple, man. Hey, yeah, what it say? Um, yeah, yeah. And it's simple in that uh, Proverbs, it goes into being open-minded, all right? You open-minded yeah. yeah. that something, you know, other than the will and righteousness of the Most High God could turn out good. And, and, and for, for that Esau vibration of, um, oh, you got to be open-minded, that's actually Esau witchcraft, bro. Yeah. Because if, if, if the door is open or the window's, window is open, how many flies can come in? A he lot, can come in. How, how many bugs can come in? Right. Right. Shit. Innumerable. Fact, how many wicked things can come in? Innumerable. Yeah. So, but yeah. if you got the window closed, how many bugs gonna come in there? No. Nah. Yeah. All right. So then, if you open it only when you want something to do what to come in. That's right. So That's the, right. The, your mind now is that window, and if you have your open mind to be an open window, now you're sitting up there believing all uh, um, kinds of winds of doctrines, all kind of philosophies. I have having our ancestors rolling over in the grave, uh, which is ourselves, listening to the goddamn shit that we're doing now, uh, accepting the white man, accepting his system, the Chinaman, his system, Arabs and their system. And we only knew the history. All right. Arabs had us in slavery for years. Matter of fact, some argue that the Arab slavery went on longer than the so-called white man's slavery. Mm -hmm. All right. So y'all, y'all don't know, you know, and, and hey, most go ahead, brother. All right. Y'all don't know. The Lord gonna make you know, okay? Stop trusting this, this evil world and this evil queendom, man. And all I ask is, the Lord said in the scriptures, what one nation have it, has, hasn't taken part of your heritage, your culture? Every single nation has, has stolen from us. Every single one of them. And right now we're in amongst every single nation. All right? right? And how are they treating us among these nations? I don't care what nation we are in, we're at the bottom of every single nation. Okay? I got that. Go ahead. The Sirach chapter 5 and 9, with now, not with every wind, speaking of every wind of doctrine, That's which right. is teaching, and go not into every way, for so doth the sinner to have a double tongue. Mm -hmm. Be steadfast in thy understanding, and let thy word be the same. So you got to have a closed mind. It's only one truth. Ephesians the fourth chapter say that. That's, right. That's the truth. We have the Hebrew Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird, the scattered of our people amongst other hey, nations. Hey, give, give me Deuteronomy 28 and 68, just to give the sisters, she's looking at the board. I'm going to prove to you in one scripture that we them people. Somebody give me Isaiah 14, 1 and 2. Go ahead. This Deuteronomy chapter 28. Because if you see this and you see yourself on this list, this is the biggest secret on earth to keep you and our people at the bottom. If we didn't, if we knew, if, if, if Pookie, and Ray Ray and Daquan and Old Block, if they knew that we were the kings of this earth, for real by God, they wouldn't be doing the dumbass shit they do. That's right. right. Go ahead. This Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 68, 
and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with the, ships. The word Egypt means slavery. The definition of the word Egypt it is Matazarium in the pure Hebrew, which means double slavery, double bondage. House of bondage. So it really is saying, I'm going to bring you into slavery again. But also what happened to the Israelites when we were in ancient Egypt? He had us enslaved. The Lord said, I'm going to put y'all niggas in the slave again. Now, before we move forward, what race of people on the planet has been by nation enslaved like we have been? But as a nation. Say that again. What nation, what nation on the planet? Watch out. What nation? What, nation of, what out of all these nations? Who in their whole nation has been in cargo slave ships as a nation? Anybody but us. Look at the table. Have the can the Chinese say they are all on slave ships? Can the white man that you wish you were us to say they were on slave ships? Can the Japanese say they were on slave ships? Can the East Indian say they were on slave? Nobody. But all these people had slave trade. They all put the Israelites in slavery. All them nations had. Uh, just to back, just to back the elder up. Oh, well, let, let him finish. Go ahead. Okay. Keep, it, keep it on deck. Okay. This Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Slavery and slave ships. Go ahead. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. When's the last time we've been in our homeland? As a some, nation. Some people don't even know that our homeland is Israel. That's right. Uh -huh. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Oh, sold. I said, I've got a little young strapping young man right now. So I started opening bid for $400. I got $400. Oh, no. I got four. 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 I got five. I got five. I got five. I got five. I got six. I got six. I got six. I got six. Six fifty. Six fifty. Six. Six. Six fifty. Going once. Come on now. Look at this strong man. Look at his teeth. Look at his mouth. Look at this. Look at this. That's how they did us. Well, did you did you see twelve years of slave? Okay, that. check that out. Yeah. There was a, you know, a, a part of, on there where the woman was like, you know, look, I'll, I'll be the best, you know, whatever you want me to do, just please don't separate us, you know, don't separate us. And, and they just snatched them out of hand. One up. going to Alabama, another one going to uh, ten, uh, wherever, uh, Jackson, Mississippi, another one going to Texas somewhere. And she was saying, please, just I'll be the best slave, I'll be the whatever you do want whatever, me to do, but please together. don't separate us. And they didn't give a fuck. This and is what they did. They showed this in movies, and it says, "And shall be no might in thy hand." Yeah, yeah, yeah jump up, yeah, it. jump up, yeah. Because yeah. I was about to say that if you read Deuteronomy 28, the whole chapter, especially from 15 down. Right. Exactly. Home. Yes. That, that it would be a yoke around our and, neck, they, and yeah. nobody can even. I was going to mention that earlier. But God, I didn't say it because the Lord can make you say it. Yeah. That 32. show me what group of people on the planet have got pictures. I, matter of fact, somebody in your fancy phones, he's already on it. That's the spirit of the Lord. Go and show her. I'm googling yokes of iron and see what race of people pop the fuck up. Yeah. And that's because I disobedience. Exactly. Yes. Absolutely. Put a curse to put a exactly. Yes. And that's why we have poverty now. Exactly. Yes. See, but we're being we're gonna Claim. be taken off. All right, yeah. that punishment. Claim. We that those curses gonna come no, off. It's just like <laughs> you a parent. Yes. Have you ever had to punish your children? Yes. You didn't punish them forever, did you? You took them off punishment when you think they learned a lesson or, you know, it was right. enough, right? <laughs> Same thing with us. Now, just like the scripture I was talking about, let's read this. Watch this. The Bible. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 32. Uh-huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Uh-huh. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for fail them. Fail with longing for <laughs> no, them. No, no, my boy. Yes. No, my baby. Yes. No. The Bible said this was going to happen to us. Mm -hmm. Fail with longing for them, but what? All the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. There shall be no might in thy hand for you powerless. to do anything about it. And that's how we as a people are now, powerless. We can't take the so-called white man down. We can't take the Japanese down. We can't take nobody down. We can't even stop niggas on old block from being niggas on old block. See, but what happened? And the scripture said that this was going to happen because we don't have an inheritance with this no, world. This, here we have no continuing city. city. So but we seek one to come. Right, right. It says that here we're strangers and pilgrims here on a mission. We're on a mission to because you know where our inheritance is. Because matter of fact, get that second address chapter uh, um, uh, six, verse 58. Watch this. Watch this. this. Second address chapter six and verse 58. Uh-huh. Matter of fact, start at 54. Second Edger 6 and 54. Uh -huh. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, uh -huh. of him come we all. Of him come we all. 
and the people also whom thou hast chosen. And the people whom thou hast chosen also stem from Adam, just like everyone else stem from Adam. These heathen Gentile nations stem from Adam, and the special chosen children stem from Adam. Go ahead. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. Thou madest the world for our whoa, sake. I got everybody on this list say uh, life and existence was made for everybody. Thou madest the themselves. world for our sake. Everything was made for us. The birds, the trees, the bees, and all of them were made for us. To, to rule it. To rule it. Go ahead. As for the other people which also come of Adam, uh -huh. thou hast said that they are nothing. When you compare them to us, the special chosen children, the gods, all right, he said that they are nothing. Go ahead. But be like unto spittle, uh -huh. and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Uh -huh. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen. But now, O Lord, behold, these heathen. Which have ever been reputed as nothing. Which, Lord, you call nothing. nothing have begun to be lords over us. But now they lords over us. And to devour us. Now they devour us. Hold but on. we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn. Oh, thy he want to make a point. Okay, I hold see on. You. Right here is one little drop. Okay, one little drop. We go back to the drop, please. This um, verse. See a little drop. 56. Right, and why are they like a drop? Because here it is, they have mindsets that's carnal. They have ways that's unrighteous. See, he, the Most High God, gave us the way of righteousness, man. Somebody real quick, uh, 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 Baruch chapter 3, verse 35. And he, why are they getting it? They said uh, that drop was all these damn nations. Everybody, he said, that's a drop. Yep. He don't care about that drop. He care about the vessel. And, 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 and his children. And who he gave righteousness to, to make the world a paradise. Bar Baruch chapter 3 verse 35, this is our God. This and is, there, go ahead. And there shall none other be accounted of in comparison of him. Uh-huh. It says, he hath found out all the way of knowledge uh -huh. and hath given it unto Jacob his servant uh -huh. and to Israel his beloved. So he gave us the way of knowledge, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the way of righteousness to us, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the biblical Hebrew Israelites. You see what I'm saying? And uh, let's go back to that uh, second Edris. Who got that? The second Edris chapter 6 and 56. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. But be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Uh huh. And now, O Lord, behold, these heathen, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, uh -huh. they have a reputation for being, being nothing from God. The, since the beginning of time. The, yeah. Not one nation has been about the Heavenly Father. Nope. Since the beginning of time, no, not one nation has done anything to really uplift the children of the Heavenly Father. They only oppressed us always, lifted up graven ass images, and the Lord told us always leave them damn nations alone because they're graven images and all the stuff that they've done. He's That's said it. Again. But no other guys. Exactly. And, and in Psalms 96 and 5, it says, For all the gods of the nations are idols. Right fast. You see? And so here it is when we got put in subjection to them, all they told us about was their idols. Now, they didn't say, oh, yeah, it's an idol. I made it up. No, they said, no, this is the, this is God. And worship this is the Yeah, this is God who governs the world. Worship it. You know what I'm saying? And with that idol came ideologies. All right, a whole different system of rules and regulations, contrary to the rules and regulations of the Most High God, who said that his rules and regulations is righteousness. Their rules and regulations is unrighteousness. In the Russian war, that's over the life of Israel and Palestine. And Palestine. I got it. Like, because from what I heard, well, they're fighting. They're, yes, exactly. So they're fighting for a land that ain't neither one of theirs. But at the same time, this is all scriptural. And it says at the end of a kingdom, yes, at the end of a kingdom, you're going to have wars, rumors of wars. You're going to have all kind of conflict and this, that and the other going on at, at the downfall of a kingdom. We are at the downfall of 
the kingdom of Esau, Edom, the biblical Edomites who call themselves so-called white people. And then the heads of them, the rulers of them, call themselves Jews. They call themselves Israeli. Israel. Yeah. L-L-Y at the end means like. Why do they call themselves Israelites? Because they know they're not. Right. They right? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna so I, I mentioned it earlier. I'm gonna pull this one up. Good. That's my son, better name Israel. Yeah. Yeah. So now, do you know? Do you know what Israel means? Nope. Well, the Hebrew word for Israel is Yashar Allah. Yah, He, Shar, Prince, Allah, Power. He, Prince of the Power, or He, Prince of God. That is what Yah Israel means. Because again, the Hebrew word for Israel is Yashar Allah. Yashar Allah. Yep. And Yah is he. Shar is prince. Allah means power. Yep. Or God. Yep. Yep. He prince of God. Yep. That's what Israel means. So let's go back to that. Now check this out. Check this out. Back in that second edge. This second edge is chapter six. When we start at uh, six again. Uh, wherever you left off, read the next verse. This second edge is chapter six and 57. And now, Lord, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. Uh -huh. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, us. are given into their hands. We're given into their hands. If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? So it's, uh, you you getting uh, uh, the spell? Okay, but I, but I want you to read that one again. This second address, chapter you got six. It? You got it. Okay, so now check this out. Go ahead, read it again. Second address, six and fifty-nine. Uh huh. If the world now be made for our sake. So the prophet Ezra, who was also an Israelite, and he was going through a thing and asking, you know, the angel, you know, like, what, what, what's going on? If we are special chosen children, Lord, why are these heathen above us? Why are we in subjection to them? Why are they rich and running things, and we sitting up here in captivity on the bottom? Why, Lord? Right. So go ahead. It says. Why, if the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? You see, we don't possess an inheritance with this present temporal evil world. How long shall this endure? How long shall this endure? Because you see? It's temporary. Because it's temporary. See, but check it out. Let's go to the next uh, uh, chapter and hit verse 9. This second edge is chapter 7 and verse 9. Uh-huh. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance. So if this city, and the city represents the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is going to be right here on the earth after the renovation of the earth by way of fire when our Lord and Savior comes. All right. So like, isn't it like a thousand years? No, 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 no. What that thousand years that you're thinking about represents just the, the, the thousand year beginning rulership of establishing the kingdom of heaven and having right. these heathens okay. under, and put, you know, and putting them and put, uh, putting the earth back in order. Right. Right. Okay. It's going for a long time. Matter of fact, after the Lord destroyed this place, the world, certain parts are going to be uninhabitable, all right? Yeah. America's going to be a, 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 a desert, desert forever. Desert. Forever. Yeah. That's why it's called Great Babylon. Exactly. Right. Yeah, great exactly. Talking about America. Yeah, America. 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 Yes. But not only America, but his America tentals of Babylon goes over to Europe, goes to Israel, goes to the Vatican. Are you good, bro? Uh, you good? You all good? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's through all, through, through, all, through all of that's the yeah. Babylon is more than just America, all right? right? But this is the seat that she's sitting on. This right. is the, this, this is where the whole rest. Lord said that this is going to be America's going to be broken up into three parts. It's going to be a great big desert because all the nuclear missiles that's going to break this earth, uh, it's going to break it. But then meanwhile, you're going to have earthquakes across the whole planet just because of the uprushing, um, uprooting of America and the, the nuclear destruction. Not only here, it's going to be a nuclear fire in Israel. It's going to be nuclear fire in various parts of the earth. Then you have to see where, where are the elites going? The elites are going into their fucking bunkers. All right. That's the, what Rick, they build in that. Yes. Exactly. Oh, yes. Rick, Rick, I just you took yep. the word out of my mouth. Yep. That. He yes. They yes. For you nothing. Know, but they, they don't know. Exactly. The Lord said exactly. he's going to send the angels. Somebody give me. He said oh, he's going to pull them out the rocks. Tell them about the holes of the rocks. Mm -hmm. The Lord said. Revelation 6. I got it. He, um, he said, do not harm the earth nor the sea. Well, that's talking about us. Yeah, okay. that's being... The reason why he hasn't yeah. came back yet is because we're doing the work we're doing right now with you. Yep. And the work we're doing right now on the YouTube. Yep. And waking up our people right now until everybody is sealed. He says, seal 
their, them in their minds, to, we got to get the name of the Lord, Yahweh, the name of Yahweh Shai, to get to the Lord. Yeah. All right. They've known that we're Israelites. Don't eat the shrimp, the lobster, the crab, the pork. Don't take the C to the H to the I to the P, which is uh, you got to spell it out. We've been taking our videos down, warning them. The yes. Damn, they turned it off. Damn, that's fast. But they want to put it into your hand and your, your flesh, and somebody else put it into your elbow. If you ain't got no arms, they're going to put it in your shoulder. All right, they're going to put it in the nub if they got to. People are already doing it right now. So they go up to the store and be like, oh, uh, yes, um, bleep. And I'll get you. I got my stuff. This one lady, she worked for, um, for the military. She's in the Army. And she said, my husband don't believe that I'm about to go here and pay with my hand. He said, no, you ain't. He said, I said, I got my groceries on. Now watch, baby. Watch, baby. <laughs> bleep. He said, I don't think I believe that. Bleep. See, I told you. And walked out the store. It's already here, but it's not being forced yet. That's the end game. They want to make everybody their slave and everybody. You put a chip in a dog. Lost. Yep. And we so a lot of our people are lazy. Yes. And lost in their mind. They yeah. Call them blind. Yeah. Blind. That you know uh, everything. This is our history. Yeah. And they don't understand yeah. the will and plan of the Creator, our Father. Well, All right. They don't understand. You see. Yeah. And so since they don't understand, they about this place right here. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. They about this place, yes, sir. And you see, the Lord, the Lord, gonna shut the the, the, the lights off in this place, the pebble grid, the food yeah, system. I wouldn't be like that. All right, and so the people, they're gonna bug out. The people gonna starve, and, and they're gonna bug out and go crazy, man. And the only thing that's gonna keep you sane is. See, see now, so that's what, that's one of our softball, uh, you know, right now. You know? one of one people play softballs in our league, so right? The He's even played with us that, on know? some team. Now here he. Now my name in, in softball is Prophet, all right. Uh, but and they, and I do witness out there, but not to everybody because it's impossible to do that. But now, like my brother said, now how the fuck he see us? He's like, hey, what's up? Hey, if I was him, I would be like, what the fuck y'all on? What's this? What's, this? what's us? Got the yeah. Bible. Mm -hmm. You got the Bible? What y'all doing? What but they see, but, mean? You just said it. But these Jake, Jake, uh, Jake collectively, so-called Negro, Latino, Native Americans. They, 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 their mind lazy, their spirit lazy. They just, they Lord cool. They say, hey, uh, uh, you stay. My, the one dude told me this years ago. You stay in your lane, now stay in my lane. And I'm, I'm like, you don't want to hear this word. We're the kings of the earth. We're the, and the Lord because did not. They don't believe it. That's right. And it wasn't given to them. Is, yeah. And not, why wouldn't the Lord not give it to them? Why did the Lord give them the spirit of unbelief? Because the Lord, this, this is the end. The Lord said, go stand in your lot at the end of days. If you was a wicked nigga in the day one, you're gonna be a wicked nigga now. Hey, hey, if you was a, if you was if you was a righteous man, then this is Revelation the twenty second chapter. He said, "Let the holy be holy still, and let the wicked be wicked still." You are you can't get this truth. Matter of fact, there's some people who, who seem to get this and even be among us for a while, but then they find out that they're a wicked ass nigga. Like Paul said, he would tell you even weakly that they're enemies of the uh, 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 of, of the cross. All right. Everybody, this is only meant for the righteous to hear and the righteous, he said, my sheep will hear my voice. Yeah, the Most High does all things decently and in order, Perfect. just like he tells us to do. So amongst the Israelites, for one, amongst all the nations, there's a top nation. So amongst the top nation, there's a rank and file, a least to the greatest. And the greatest is the elect that's going to show and prove that they're the elect, all right, by having faith in the word of God in truth. That's right. You see? And so what we gonna do, we're gonna make, like the scripture says, we're gonna make our bodies a living sacrifice and not be conformed to this world, but transformed by the renewing of our mind. You see? So now we're about the will and righteousness of the Father. And we know the will of the Father is to get to a world that's gonna be right here on the earth, all right? That's gonna be ran what he say righteousness is. See, he allowed this first one. So you can see, all right, go ahead, run it y'all. Run it man's way instead of running it the creator's way. Run it the creatures, the creation way, as opposed to the creator's way and see where it gets you. And Romans, the first chapter, said they'd rather serve the creature than the creator. You see? So the Lord, the Father, he allowed this. It was all for our learning. That's why Romans 15 and 4, it says whatsoever uh, thing was written aforetime was written for our learning. So we should learn. When we go our way, death. When we go the most highway, Life. life you see salvation the way the exactly so here it is we should be fighting because none of it says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of god right but we fight 
to do what's right and rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our ability to show and prove our faith in the word of God. You see? So, um, you got something? Yeah. What you got, brother? I'm just gonna line back off what the elder is talking about, this, this, this fighting for this truth and holding on to these laws, statutes, and commandments. Proverbs 3, it says, my son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments. See, if you were keeping the law back in the days, if you cared about, if the, if the word of God was precious to you in your prior lifetimes, the Lord, if, you, if, you, if you're righteous, you're always going to gravitate, like the scriptures say, every uh, creature resort to its kind. All right? You, you get the dogs kicking with the dogs. The cats come fuck with the cats. The rats go fuck with the rats. The righteous Israelites fuck with the righteous Israelites. The wicked Israelites go fuck with the wicked Israelites. Are y'all good? Oh, all good? Yeah, it's all good. Are y'all good? good. Yep. It says... My son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments for a length of days and long life and peace shall thy add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck and write them upon the table of thy heart. And the Hebrew word for heart is love, which means your mind, okay? Keep them in your mind. Like Isaiah 26 and 3, he will keep thou in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him, okay? That's it. That's it. That's All it. right? That's it. And we know that, hey, we got to go to just like our Lord and Savior says that the servant is not greater than his master. Our Lord and Savior went through what he had to go through to be That's perfected. Right, so we now have to go through what we got to go through. Ooh. And he said, if you suffer with me, we shall be glorified yes. together. Yes. You see? So this is what we suffer in this world right now. We suffer wickedness its time and for wickedness and the wicked to prosper. Ooh. And while we suffering and poor and on a low estate, but yet maintaining faith, maintaining integrity and, and maintaining works. hope. And all right? good works because you can say you, if you uh, if you're not, if, especially for a man. Yes. All right. Yes. If you're a man, you hear this truth. You're supposed to be out here teaching this truth. Now, everybody ain't a prophet. So if you're not going to be teaching it, then you got to live it no matter what. Believe sisters, in it. Yep. The sister got to believe and live it. Are you, do you have a husband? Yeah. All right. If you had a man, all right, you need to be um, taking care of your man and taking care of your children and, and following this. All right. And if he happened not to be in the truth, if he happened not to believe, then your conduct was your conversation. And, and, the, and the Greek should be like, damn, she don't give me no shit. She always got everything on point. Uh, why you do this, baby? Because I believe we're the Israelites. And then he might be, the Lord said, how you don't know that you can get woken up through, that, through, through her conduct and the way she living because of your faith. Especially right? when things, you know, hit the fan. Yes. When the apex of Jacob's trouble hit <laughs> and everybody back in the house because, you know, all manner of mayhem and chaos is going on. Just like because CV. Because that, that's what's coming. Just like CV. Yeah. Right. During the time of that that, that yeah. slam c-o-v-i you don't want to go know? there because you're yeah. trying to uh and yeah. she's she gonna say don't be careful she right <laughs> and that was a test run that was that's a test run that's right it was a that test, was just run. A test and run and what happened how many people how many how many people were on expressways in the regular yeah. oh the beautiful that's He's good no. the spirit of the lord told you not that's to. it because otherwise you'd be a dead woman walking that's good that's a good thing because you see how many people dying and died in your circle Yes. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Um, that my old seed to the dike is that they getting that all the damn time too. Yep. The, the, the heart issues and shit. Yep. All, and man, the, the, the CLs to the OTSs in their uh, in their veins. So, so, so as the world, re, uh, this world and wickedness reaches its height, the wicked is scrambling to get their ultimate agenda of a new world order, a one world government in wickedness. You see, and that uh, includes depopulation of billions, right? And it includes C-H-I-P, P-I-D, you know, people, you know, in their, like the scripture says, in their hand and their foreheads or wherever, you know? And, and they're gonna play like it's, because what they're doing is engineering all the chaos so they can come with their solution. And collapsing the dollar as we speak. So now what do we use with the dollar? Everything. You're talking about food, you're talking about gas, you're talking about bills and rent. So they're going to attack you in everything. If you don't take this C to the H, we call it the C hip, all right? If you don't take the C plus the hip, all right? Then they're going to be like, oh, you go over to Target. Be like, yes, I got a whole, you went there, you had a whole big cart. Like, yes, and you go in there, 
Um, no, we're not taking that. Oh, then you pull out your credit card. No, we're, we're not taking that anymore. It's just don't have it in your your your, your hand. Uh, I'm sorry. Right. And so then it's going to be a, a problem. You said you got kids, right? How many kids? Well, three are grown. Okay, so 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 now people gonna be like, well, I gotta feed my seven year old. Right. I I, I got that. What did what did uh, uh, Johanna say? You gotta you gotta eat. You gotta eat. And, and and that's the wicked mentality versus say, wait, I, uh, Elijah didn't have no food, and what did the Lord do? Send a, a bird to feed him. Send an angel mm -hmm. to feed him, and then he sent him out to a widow who had a little ch a child, and he said, sister, give me this food. And I promise you, this food, the oil, and this, and this, this uh, meal this flour, it ain't going to go out until the famine's over. She had faith in the Heavenly Father, and it didn't go out until rain came. She was taken care of. So we got to have that same faith and trust that, you know what, I'm not going to depend on them. I know I don't know how I'm going to eat, but I'm going to eat. Because the Lord said, he's going to take care of me if I'm about his righteousness and I'm about his will. I, that's who I'm trusting in. I'm not trusting in the wicked that's ruling right now, that's going to come out with this. And they're going to play it like it's something good and it's the saving grace of all the chaos that's going on. And if you don't take it, then they're going to deem you a domestic terrorist and, you know, this bad person. Just like they did all the people who didn't get vaxxed. Well, I said it. But uh, all the people who didn't get it, they, you know, talked all manner of stuff about us and we're bad people and this, that, and other things. You see? And it's gonna happen again. Okay? So who got something? I got something right Go ahead. ahead. This is the book of Obadiah, chapter 1 and verse 21. And Savior shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh. And that's what we're waiting for, the kingdom of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh. You see? But this kingdom got its time. But it's a bounds that they cannot pass. You see? And so, go ahead, bro. Like, like I was going to say, this is the kingdom of Esau Edom. The so-called white man is in rulership around the world. That's who it. Who runs the world? Who is in control? So, 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 this present evil world is going to be taken out by way of thermonuclear fire here in Babylon and Great America. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So, 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 um, um, they say, save your shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau. So the Lord got his man out here. He gonna, the, Lord, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly called Jesus Christ, that he's coming back with his, the whole heavenly heart, whole, heavenly host, the armies of heaven, coming back with the Lord. He got us out here fighting right now, you know, and we judging these nations. And the main nation is the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, his kingdom going down next. And he's gonna try to do everything to keep it going. He's gonna try to force and starve everybody else, you know, uh, according to the scriptures with that famine. With that famine. If and, you know, and he going to try to make you take that chip. So we not depending on this so-called white man, man. We depend on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh to lead, guide, and protect us until the end of that fire comes. That's it. Yahweh. The, the, the Most High God, the Father, Yahweh. Our Lord and Savior, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yahweh Shai. See, now, it's really it's Give me a sheet of paper. Remember, you got a pen? Yeah. Let me see that pen. Until 1524, um, being experimented by Edomite, so-called white man. Um, Tristan, 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 I'm going some stuff down for you. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so instead of give us Jay, the we say Hallelujah, Zechariah, Hezekiah, Yahweh is the Father's full name. There's no V's in Hebrew. So when you think Jehovah, Yahweh, there's no V's in Hebrew. Yahweh. And then Yahweh Shai is in the ignorant God Jesus Christ. Yahweh means um, He is. Yahweh Shai means He saved. We're about to hook you up with something too so you can take it with you. And those, those, names, those names have been hidden and taken from us as a people. They gave, why do you think they switching around, gave us so many other names? People call on this and that. And that's invoking other spirits and entities and entities. When you call on these folks, especially the name of JC, we don't even like really saying that name at all because you call on that shit got everybody just from bubble laid around the planet Earth. So it's Yahweh Shah. Yes, Yahweh Shah. 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 Yahweh you have to go through Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh, he ain't fucking with us right now. Yeah, he said his eyes are too, he said his eyes are too yeah. pure eyes and to behold evil. Hey, but you can't get to Yahweh Shai unless well, you go through who he sent, sent. The, the prophets. prophets. That's, why, on, right. that's why this scripture says on. this, one of my favorites, and this is our Lord and Savior that's speaking. This is St. John chapter 13, verse 20. It says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that receiveth whomsoever I send, receiveth me 
and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. So who sent our Lord and Savior? The Father. And then our Lord and Savior sent some men. And he said, you must receive those men. And that's why in St. John chapter 17 and 20, it says this. It says, neither pray I for these alone. I'm not just praying for the men that's the mouthpiece, right? That's the prophets that's going to be speaking, right? And teaching and prophesying. He said, neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. So through our word, now you believe in Yahweh since you believe in Yahweh Shai, you believe in the Father, Yahweh. You see, that's how it go. If I may, Elder. You may. Yeah, this is that Jeremiah 44 and 4. How bit I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them. And that's the beginning, man. Like if you go to the book of Luke, yeah, we were, in seven. the Lord had the, uh, the prophets here since the beginning. All right, and every time the Lord sends us, it's, a, it's, it's, also, it's always a, a, an impending judgment, impending doom. Something's about to go down. Um, now the Lord got us out here over the last 70 years. It's because this is the end of the world. All right. And it's happening. This is it. And and it's a beautiful thing. Right. Because this right we here. We had 10 tornadoes here. And, yeah, and, and yeah, yeah, it was over there. It was over there. It was, it was, it was like 20, it was like 20, I think they said 27, 28. They broke a record. And the earthquake also in central Illinois. And but people These don't know. Signs of, Did you know Chicago would, is on a fault? We're on the, I think it's the uh, St. Saint Madrid fault line. We're on a fault line. This is going to be one of them crucial spots of uh, breaking up uh, uh, of this, 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 queen, this wicked queendom here. What's the name of it? To my knowledge, it's the uh, San, uh, San Madrid. I'm going to double check and just make sure I'm on point. But I finished bringing this Jeremiah 44 and 4. How bit I sent unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing, abominable thing that I hate. So when we come and say to our people, do not these abominable things, they look at who are you? Who are you? Who are you? you only God can judge me. All this stuff. Not understanding that the Lord is speaking through us. You see? Matter of fact, let me just grab this real quick and I'm going to give it but right that's back to you. Because they know uh, that they doing wrong. They know that it's not right. That's it. They, you know, they yep. Know. That's it. Matter of fact, this is Baruch chapter 1, verse 21. It says, Nevertheless, we have not hearkened unto the voice of the Lord our God, according unto all the words of the prophets whom he sent unto us. You see, it says, The voice of the Lord our God. Who is the voice of the Lord our God? The words of the prophets whom he sent unto us. You see? And guess what? We don't have nothing to do with no seminary school of this world, no theology school of this world, nothing. So they looking at us like, who is these niggas, spicks and tontos that's, you know, claiming to be the voice of the Most High God? You see? We would like to do what's pleasing to their flesh. Exactly. That's the reason why. That's it. And if you go down they right here. Exactly. Exactly. And so... Here it is, they're gonna get caught up in that great judgment. Amen. You see? And, um, the, uh, yeah. that, and this is like, Isaiah like, 40. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, my bad. The new Madrid seismic zone is a 150 mile long fault zone spanning four states in the Midwestern United States. Um, within the central Mississippi Valley, extending from Northeast Arkansas through uh, Southeast Missouri, Western Tennessee and Western Kentucky to Southern Illinois. Oh, so it, co it comes all the way here. Uh, and the, the uh, people don't know that there's fault lines that, that if you look at the fault lines, you can see down there how it's going to break this motherfucker up in three places. Here you go, bro. Murph button. Murph button. He say Murph The mighty Murph, Murph Jr. <coughs> Jr., y'all see that? The mighty Murph Jr. His son is, his son is on the other side. Fighting this way to get in like his dad, man. It's a beautiful thing, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, 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 and he was telling us that like, he, um, through his recollection, he ain't never called on that sweet Jesus. Uh, Jeebus. That sweet Jeebus. That um, cheese and rice. Fuck. Jeebus. And, so, and, and he's diligent and he's, he's, he's in the studies. He's learning. And that's what it's all about, raising up the body. That's it, raising up our people. This is what this is about. And I, I, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. And, and waking up the people, you know, that's what we out here doing, you know, prophesizing the downfall of this present day evil world. I should say temporal, 
because it is slated for destruction, okay? And ushering in one to come. Second Ezra 6 and 9, for Esau is the end of the world, mm -hmm. and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow. But before Jacob's world can come, everything has to play out. We have to go through everything, and this place has to be destroyed, okay? And um, this is Matthew, all right? I'll give you Matthew 21, and I guess I'll say 43. Therefore, say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you and given to the nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. And who, are the, who is that nation? Israel, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the biblical and true Hebrews of the Bible, bringing forth that righteous word, okay? Not uh, Jesse Jackass Jackson, uh, T.D. Fakes, I, I, I mean, Jakes, that's yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, all about the dollar. She just said she'd been tried by the Lord, went to all these different churches and couldn't find it. Because he knocked down. The scripture says, uh, uh, the Most High dwelleth not in temples yeah. made with hands. Acts 7 and 48, he dwelleth not in temples made with hands, okay? He said, where two or more gathered in his name, which is Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, then he's in the midst. Matthew 18 and 20. If he's not, if, if, if they're not calling on the name of the Lord and they're not living as to the life of an Israelite, you're never going to find the truth. Not through them. But it's like, you know what you find? How not to live. That's about all they can provide. Wait, yeah, there's more you can No, you 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 said it all. I said it, yeah. Joel. All right. So anybody got any last uh, uh, scriptures? Do you have any questions? Did you have anything? Do you have any questions? To digest. That's it. You know, because you read things, but you want to get a better understanding. You know. You got to drink the milk first. Which is which is part of what you're digesting. What we've been given is milk. Right. Into milk. right. So it, it does take time to soak up and soak in. And then it, then after the dust, you have to apply it. Yeah, and the scripture right. says, desire the sincere milk, milk of, of the word that, that you, you may grow, grow thereby. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So, uh, we're, we're, so. We're, no, 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 we'll, we'll close. You don't have to go. We'll, we'll close out. Okay. Well, hey, Lord willing, this has been edifying. Um, with that, we're going to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakurash, Shalom, and Abba Babal. Abba Babal! Kwam Yashala. Kwam Yashala. Hey, make sure you turn the turn on my heart down there. I got you. Yeah, I got you. Destroy Babylon.